Well, it's good, Footy Culture fam. My name is Matthews, a.k.a. Matt, a.k.a. Matosinho, a.k.a. It's the most wonderful time yeah. of the year. It's the international break. <laughs> and we're coming at y'all with episode 29 of the Footy Culture Podcast. Once Jeez. again, I'm joined today by Jay. Canadian footballer of the year right here. <laughs> what? I know who? I'm wearing a Poland kit, but... <laughs> I know you guys saw me in that game versus uh, um, came in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you just, wow, bro. You just finished facing them right now. You just flew back here for the podcast. Wow. Hopped off a jet, barely get rest face. Yeah, uh, you know the vibes, though. Let's keep it moving. Anyways, we got Chris, a.k.a. 89 mil. Spogba. 89 mil. Spogba on the couch right here. We got uh, Jimmy, a.k.a. Essentials. Cleanup crew checking in. Dan. What's up, guys? And last but not least, David, a.k.a. Quinto. A.k.a. Fernando Torres. What? I don't think so. El, El Nino? <laughs> El Nino, bro. Not in your state. It is massive now. <laughs> All right, oh, boys. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. He's a, he's oh, because Torres is massive. <laughs> oh, I think you're calling Dave massive. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, oh, some of the topics for today. Uh, uh, European qualifications for the World Cup. Canada soccer. And more. So without further ado, let's kick it off with some Canadian football. Kind of had some big performances over these past few days. First one being 5-1 against the Bermuda. Mm-hmm. Good little game there, man. Davies absolutely going off. Playing like he's playing against amateurs, man. It's, it's making it look way too easy. Maybe he was. He, <laughs> might, he, he, he might have been, bro. He, he might have been, been, bro. He might have been. Man, this is Canada's best team ever. It's that simple. Yeah. They've never had a better roster. Well, you could argue the one that made the World Cup, possibly. Name one player. I don't know. <laughs> Craig oh, Forrest? Oh, Dwayne Di Rosario? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even think what he's on this, What on makes it. this team the best Canadian team? Is just Davies on the squad? It ain't just Davies, though. It is man. just Davies. Oh, no. yeah, 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 yeah. Decent talent, too, bro. Atiba Hutchinson, captain, leader, legend. Atiba's been he's playing. Like is decent, he's too. He's like 36, Atiba Hutchinson. Yeah, he's an old he's still one. Balling, I think though. they just have like a lot of players playing like a higher level yeah. than yeah. usual. Because before, you had like maybe a couple guys playing in the MLS. Yeah. Like, Maybe a couple playing like in the second tier of Denmark, but now you have guys like you know playing in France. Like they're all playing at a pretty high level, so it just yeah. kind of for the most part at least, true. you know. Yeah, uh, it's but, talented players too. But yeah. man, come on, they're facing Bermuda. You don't think they're gonna win? No, I expected them to win, but yeah, bro. It's expected. But <laughs> am I not gonna celebrate the result? Yeah, yeah. just because expe- it's Bermuda. You can't I, say hey, it's Bermuda because people say, "Hey, it's just Canada." Like Canada, that, yeah. But Canada's but like I expected them to destroy too. them. They did. And, and they, they did, and they bro. Did, so yeah. out, and something like yeah. spectacular. Oh, bro, you got to play with who's in front of you, bro. You yeah. yeah. That's true. But a little hat trick from Kyle Lahren. Decent. Hat trick assists for Davies. Yeah, yeah. Some light. Well, we'll just have to see how they do for against an actual like opponent. Yeah. Wow. And then we can actually like. <laughs> this why was, are you, why are the, you the, disrespect to the Caribbean? <laughs> bro, yeah. now, mean disrespecting is true. Not, most of them the are not. Bro. Most of them are probably not professional footballers. Bro, they're part-time footballers over yeah, there, bro. Exactly. So what, bro? So? Got to see them against some real comp. Some real yeah, comp. we will eventually. Yeah. You got to win these games first, right? Yeah, you got you to gotta win these games to make it to the better team. Yeah, yeah. obviously. But speaking of real opponents, today they actually beat the Cayman <laughs> Islands. I real know, opponents. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that real, bro. <laughs> wow. uh, it was a real amateur. 11 <laughs> 0. Canada's yeah. biggest win in history, in their history. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy. It's a lot of goals. Their second yeah. biggest win was what, 8 0? Yeah. Yeah, didn't you get two goals in that game? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, what was yeah. your name on the roster, bud? Um, Kyle Aaron. <laughs> Jay Z. Kyle Aaron. <laughs> Can't, yeah. can't see the my, resemblance. My tan wore off a bit on the plane ride home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. Golly. But yeah, bro, it, they just dismantled them. Bro. It was looking like training out there. Yeah. Was it like wasn't like six nil first half or seven or eight or something like that. Six nil. I think it was six. Yeah. Five nil in the thirtieth, right? Yeah. Like was, six yeah, nil in the five. first half. Like, come yeah. on, man. Like at least eighty percent possession, bro. Like, I don't think bro, uh, I don't think Cayman Islands had any shots on target. Bro, bro. shots. They couldn't make a single pass. Yeah, they couldn't to save their. They man. couldn't string more than three passes together before losing they, the ball. They, oh my! It was so bad. Bro, do you guys think a men's league side could compete against the Cayman Islands? You think our team it could, couldn't league. compete? Yeah, you think FC Barcelona can compete against Cayman Islands? Probably not. But you don't think so? Yes, yeah. it's a professional team. So. I don't know. I think I think San I think Marino's a professional team. Doesn't mean they're exactly. good. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. You Malta. Malta nah. won. Oh Sweet. yeah. Malta. Big Malta fan. Nice. Okay, I'll so so how how do you guys think your men's league team would fare against Cayman Islands? Honest answer. Honest answer? I think we we could we would come out with like a close victory, like two one or no, I wouldn't even or close a tie. Like, at the end of the day, they're they're still they still train, right? You don't? 
Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> Most of you guys don't, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't do. think the level would be like too far it off as a look off. like yeah. versus Canada, but I feel like some players could definitely fare. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there'd be a win, but I feel like it wouldn't look too far off. I feel like we would score. Maybe. <laughs> maybe we, get, we, a, maybe we get a scrappy we would, goal. We would yeah. get a goal. No, maybe. I think we would get a nice goal. A nice one, maybe huh? a pen- <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe a penalty. <laughs> yeah, because they gave away, what, two pens in this yeah, game? Yeah, they gave away two penalties. Do, okay, do you guys think you guys would win? I don't know. I think you, you guys are crazy to think not. you'd win, man. Yeah, Why? Definitely. So. At the end of the day, they're they're uh, it's the national team yeah. of a so, country. I we, don't care how trash the but country. But are they full time professionals? Are you guys? Yeah. <laughs> no. okay. yeah. so yeah. They're so in the same so spot. They're in the same spot. They're higher up than you. They're what? playing men's league yeah. over there. What's the Cayman no, Islands? They're, What's they're the playing Cayman international league? soccer. Okay. What league are they having in that league? In that what league? league are you guys in? The men's league. Von <laughs> Soccer League, bro. The, the men's league. Yeah. The men's league. The, men's league. the Von Soccer League. We've played, so, we played with some high quality players. The men's league of the world. Oh, okay, maybe you have. But okay, if you guys think you guys could win versus Cayman Islands, what could like a League One Ontario team do against them? Destroy them. Destroy them. Oh, no, yeah. I don't, no, not I don't destroy them, but they'll probably even be better. Obviously be better than us. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's but I think we still have a chance. On, no, I think we still have a chance. No, man. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. So you guys would win, right? Yeah. So nah. no, uh, close okay. win. So close what, win to a tie. What about that first team we played against last season at um that field? What's the field called? I don't know. La Park. Yeah, La Park. We didn't beat them. You guys going to beat the Cayman Islands? No. Man, back what? then we didn't oh, one, have one game. Yeah, one game. Beat the this Cayman is one Island, game versus bro. the Cayman Islands. A one off game. What? This is in the seven game series. Nah, nah. It, <laughs> never said That's it. not me saying it. That's yeah, not me. No shop, yeah, I don't <laughs> think we'll win. But prof- I don't, th- I don't think the, the level of competition will be like that yeah. much substantial, you know? In a professional environment. Bro, you guys lost. Like, we different. lost against GTA Bulldogs, bro. No, wait, we tied. Tied to two. Okay, bro. This is the okay, game Barcelona Island. lost to Celtic, having 89% possession. Like, yeah, come on, bro. One game. This isn't a men's league podcast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she making a men's league. It happens, man. You never know. I if, just we have 11, we have uh, if we have 11 Quintos in the squad versus 11 Jays on the squad, I think the score would be like 20 Quinto. nils. What? What, what all just I, happened? All I know is I'd break some legs. Wait, so what do you think? What? I answered already. What? No. It's, it's no, no, no. So you think zero percent yes, chance? Yes, yes. Zero I didn't say yes. <laughs> yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah. We also no. have different levels of football at this table right now, guys. So let's just say it, leave it at that. I'm the highest. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it going. Who else played this week? Well, we had some uh, European games over the weekend. Italy European played football? Bulgaria two 0 win. Yeah. Played pretty good. Look at win. Yeah, look at Tully scored a nice banger, and then Bolotti PK. Immob- he actually could have scored another goal. He dinked it over the goalie off the post. Free shot. Skies it. No. Bolotti. Yeah, What's wrong with that guy? Bro, they, they, their strikers can't score. Immobile free sh- had a couple free chances in front of the net when he got su- subbed on. He couldn't score. These Italian strikers, man. They can strikers. only do it in the league, eh? <sighs> what do you think of the lineup? Sorry? What do you think of the lineup? Uh, I didn't mind it. The front three was, was good. Bolotti does m- his bits. like He, he hustles like a dog. But oh, w- yeah, we had Insigne and uh, Chiesa start, which is probably their best wingers, in my opinion. And yeah, they had a solid midfield. Solid Verratti, defense. Sensi, Barella. Yeah, is that, Sensi. is that the Gallo midfield? For I, don't, I don't know, Sensi. Sensi. Uh, Sensi just kind of pl- played. He, he didn't do bad. He did pretty good. Yeah, Lewis opened Shaw here saying Belotti is so underrated. He is underrated, but like for Italy, he just can't do bro, it. He's the got same that hunchback, bro. He looks like a Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Randall from Disney's Reset. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Spencer. <laughs> so I can't score a goal for Italy. Is he starting though, or are we mobile? No, I think he mobile still starts. Yeah. I yeah. saw some people uh, saying that Italy have the best midfield. Yes, in I was about to say that. It's I, bloody decent. I, I, I bloody said decent. over Germany. Definitely not. A lot of people are saying over Germany. I'm like, bro, no, they're not over Germany. Over Portugal though. Portugal has a good midfield. I think they're over Portugal. I think Italy over Portugal's midfield. Not over Germany. Germany is probably the t- like one of the best with France. You think Italy over Portugal? Would you would you count Fernandez as a midfielder? Even if yes. Fernandez, even yeah. if Fernandez yeah. there, I think it's still better. Bruno, and Bruno. Uh, you have um, what's it called? They have Moutinho and Neves. And no, we have yeah. midfielders. You have a well, William Car- uh, William Carvalho. Carvalho? Oh, they have William Carvalho. Bernardo Neto's a midfielder too. Is Bernardo more midfielder? He's like he's like more Bernard- of like Bernardo's a swapped. midfielder, but Neto's more of a winger. Yeah, most of the time. I still think that at least is better. Neto played midfield this this couple days ago. Yeah, he did, like more like an attacking mid. So yeah, it's a it's a good show. Italy are looking good. Yeah, yeah I, I like the Italy squad. I mean, it's just that back line's kind of shaky, man. Yeah, just a bit. I don't know. You got yeah. high hopes? Not high hopes. I just think that they'll they'll like 
prove a couple people wrong because you know, a lot of people are like already saying Italy's not out, like they're not gonna do anything. Mm-hmm. Well, they're top of their group right now with Switzerland, both six points. Yeah, mm-hmm. without lo- without a loss, I'm pretty sure right now. They play what two games? <clears throat> no, yeah. I'm saying that they haven't lost like for the past year. Really, maybe That's past crazy. two years, possibly two years. What they finished San Marino Italy like four times. Doesn't yeah. matter who you play. <laughs> it's the same thing as as a. Uh, Barca was Celtic. What's like, what's Doesn't matter. You play since, one game since they didn't make. Was it the Euro Cup? Yeah. Ever since Mancini the World Cup, since they didn't make the World Cup, they haven't lost. Yeah. Ever since Mancini took charge, they haven't lost. I saw like a someone else say like, oh, um, how a Port- like everyone's saying that Ronaldo's better because he does better in Europe and blah 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 for Portugal. Mm-hmm. But then you f- see like the, the the players the the teams they face like San Marino yeah. and Andorra, all those teams. bro. Andorra. Staff then you have well, you have Messi playing like actually no, no. pretty good teams. No, you can't compare the competition that South com- America no, 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 has no, with the competition no, no, no. that Europe has to play. I against. have it on my phone once again. But top here we go. Top forty teams or top even top ten teams. Ronaldo has more goals than Messi against against top ten teams. Really, top ten. Yeah, top ten teams in the world internationally. Ronaldo has more goals than Messi. Top ten against top you ten. You can teams. also say. He has more goals, top say, 20 teams, more goals against top 30 teams, more goals then, against top 40 okay, teams. Because he yeah. plays more games against those teams. Yeah. No, yeah. That, but also, also, also because by he gets provided. He, he's, he's a finisher. Yeah, but yeah. you guys, and then just, again, you guys more are just... Of those, Messi, more of those top teams are in Europe than they are in South America yeah. too, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, more, but probably. I'm just saying, he's, he's, if I were to show you the stats, it's by like quite a bit. Like yeah, it's, not, it's not really close at all. Like against top, team, uh, top 10 teams, Messi has zero goals. He has not scored against a top 10 team. Since when? From what I've seen on the stat. because yeah, he clearly, he, he definitely has, has. Against who? Name it. He, he hasn't scored. I a, don't know, bro. He hasn't scored a goal in, against top 10 teams. Apparently not. Ever. Apparently the, not. The top 10 clearly teams, he has, The top bro. 10 teams are more European squads, no? Would you not say? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's probably okay. why. The only way he could there's play a, there's a Euro Isn't versus... Belgium like number one? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But and, he, and he could only face them in, in, in the World the Cup. World Cup. Oh, he yeah. could like play, friendly, he could play like, like a Brazil. I would, not take, play. I would not take that statistic too like, little. But, because but, you, but no, but I'm trying he to say. He has scored against Brazil. Maybe it's like, maybe like, maybe like in Cup. I, I don't know what, what yeah. the stat's from, but I saw. It sounds very cherry picked. Then again, he yeah, probably has more goals on like it, against like the top like 100 or like top like 50. It's definitely more beneficial towards Ronaldo than it is to Messi because Messi just. But again, Messi's competition in the in the ball. Is a lot higher than it would be in the group stage that they, these guys have in the qualifiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah. course. Ronaldo yeah. has a better team as well. Yeah, yeah. it's easy. <laughs> Argentina is not that good. I mean, they're better than what they were bef- before. Like, they got a little eh, bit better. Eh, I don't know. I wouldn't they they might have gotten worse. I wouldn't I say that. Know. I think their best team was probably the finals team of the 2014. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they had some, they had some blue uh, guys uh, in there. Was was the but did they, though? They did decent. They had. They didn't Their have great. Okay, co- they didn't have world star players. Now that they did a bunch of teams that have gotten that far, but mm. they played well together. They were a good team, like Mascherano. That's that was an Iguain who was in form, who just played poorly in the finals. Palacio, yeah. Palacio, poorly. Palacio. <laughs> Lavet- was great. That yeah, Lavetti was good at that time. Mascherano was in his prime too. Yeah. Michaelis. He was also. Yeah. He was no. He's not bad. He, he, played, he had a good he World Cup. He wasn't bad. Okay. He was doing great. It's all right. His experienced players. Yeah, is what it was. And but Rojo. I don't know how Rojo. But uh, he's, <laughs> Rojo was playing good left. He played. Back. He played left played, center back. That was, that's where he's playing when they, he was they, in. Uh, that was his breakout. No, that was yeah. he, he was yeah. in Portugal still playing right. Sporting. He might have been. Yeah. 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 So after that, I'm pretty sure Manu signed him. But again, a lot of players, I guess, came out of that year and were like just went down. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Like who, do, who who do Argentina have coming up right now that is decent? No one. They have some I don't know. Little Tauro's having a good season. Little right Tauro, who else? They have no yeah, mid. Even Little Tauro still plays for the national team, right? right? Nothing special. Like Dybala went. Paredes is. He didn't go down. He's just always injured. So he's going down. Yeah. Just, he's just they, like there. He's just no, like he's not. He's, he's not, not there. there at all. He's doing TikToks with his girl, bro. Yeah, he's just not there. <laughs> yeah, he's know. just going down. Because if he was just there, that means he. The girl's old though. Yeah. Girl, Higuain's out now, and like Di Maria is all right. Like. Their midfield. They don't out. have any good young talent. They don't have yeah. any good young yeah. talent. At least like, that we know of, maybe. But we don't there might be anything. some coming no, up. If, yeah. if I don't know about it, then it can't be that good. No, yeah. that's true. Right? That's true. I'm sure they do have like a couple of players here or there. The only player that I would know of is Simeone. He's, uh, not, he's not, like, not that good. He's, he's, he's not, not good. in that good, but, is that his but, that, name? but that's what you hear of yeah. more, right? Paredes from, from PSG. Paredes is not bad. No, I'm sure there's some. Like We just can't think of that. Yeah, There's that guy, Zaracho, I think his name is. He plays still in Argentina. He's supposed to be kind of... Highly rated. How about Abraham from Frankfurt? <laughs> Abraham, <It's> like forty, bro. <laughs> no, I think yeah. as a as a non Portugal fan, I'm kind of glad Ronaldo's <laughs> still on the team. Yeah, why? Yeah. He's probably gonna slow them down. 
As you can, no, as you can, come so on, speaking man. Of the Portugal side, because you can yeah. tell from their last all that, games, all that service is gonna have to go through him. And a good it's example, like a good yeah. example, a good what? example was Portugal versus Azerbaijan, where they only won one nil, and they were playing with Ronaldo and Andre Silva up top. Two targets, two target mans, and that didn't help him at all because their only goal was from an own goal. Yeah, I didn't watch the game. I don't think Portugal played that great, from what I heard. And again, again, one of their best players was Diego Jota. Yeah, he scored two goals against Serbia. Serbia. Yeah. Quite a controversial but again, game. Again, even even that in that game, like they changed their lineup completely too. Like they have only Ronaldo playing up top. They literally dropped Silva, yeah. playing Jota and Silva up top. Trying to see what works, right? Right. And again, it's also the they also have a lot of great players in form that they're gonna yeah. work around with too. I think they're just still trying some players out, some formations. Because like, what would you be your like your ideal starting lineup for Portugal? I it, and is it would we include like form at the moment? Because Joao Felix's form is not I mean, the best, but usually, he's still one of the best players, like right? Usually, you want to base your teams on merit. Yeah, it's usually what you do. All right, that's the same thing. Like you're not gonna place. And then again, like Ronaldo, and then you have Andres Silva, who's also in form. And Jota, and Jota in form. Like there's a lot of players in. They form have a lot. Right? You have to. You have to know how to play this formation. formation. Yeah. Yeah. What, play what this formation squad. they play again? Five, five at the back, no? Four three four, three. three. Yeah. Oh, four three three. They're playing. A, they're trying a fourth. Four one two, four three one two. Last game or four three? I don't know. It was weird with that Andrew Silva game. A little more narrow, probably. Yeah. yeah. But again, that game didn't. You know what I mean? It's only they only got one win in a tie right now, and the one win they got was Azerbaijan by one own goal. One yeah. Win, right? So there's not that convincing right now. Again, on paper they're a great team, always. But what are um what are your guys' thoughts on that Ronaldo outburst at the end of the game? Yeah, uh, I think this, I th- disallowed goal. I mean, I would it, was, it was pretty stupid, though. Yeah, it was a horrible like disallowed goal. There should be VAR first but, of all. Uh, yeah, I know there's no VAR. And remember before we before VAR, they had that fourth ref on the line. Yeah, they don't have that anymore. Yeah, but, the, I but guess don't they, they limit- have the the watch that no, tells them? No, they didn't them? have that either. That's what I thought. So yeah, because they have they have that there too. Was no, they there had was the no watch, technology at all. There was no VAR, and there's also no, how no, they, they completely got rid of that fourth ref. Back to the got Stone rid- Age. They got yeah. rid of him to add VAR. But yeah. Like since there's no VAR. But since there's no VAR. Should probably, no bring, him yeah. should probably bring him back. <laughs> okay, but back to that. Kid, I remember, still remember that. Those guys this should is, bring him back. This is Paul yeah. Fox. Yeah, the man, They're just chilling there. <laughs> they're just watching the line. Like, that they guy, should bring that guy laser back. Laser vision bro. on the line, bro. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are like chances like are like moments where like you're like oh why is this guy getting paid to just stay on the line right and this is the reason why, exactly. why he was getting paid <laughs> yeah. imagine like just him getting that, that thing in and just yes, everyone just yeah. praising yeah, him after that from a computer but That's isn't this crazy. a qualification yeah. qualification match yeah. it's an important and match. there's no var right who, that what, doesn't make what, sense what what went through these guys heads when they thought of that who thought of that but they're not playing with var in any of the games are they no, there's, there's but why no. but who, well, but there who should thought be. of that I don't know that is the some dumbest thing I've ever heard as much as I hate var yeah, they kind of need VAR. Yeah. yeah, especially for something like that where it was such clearly a huge, in. And it's the such whole a ball was over by like quite a bit. Was yeah. it? It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. the whole ball. Like was man. it? No, yeah, no it, was it was more. It was over by like at least that much. No, yeah. it was more. It was, it was like more. A whole hand apparently. It was, a whole it was hand. a whole hand or more because when they stopped it, it he was already like kind of kicking it. Yeah. But they had like a hand imprint on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Some yeah. angles were deceiving. No, but it was like it was a lot. It was a lot. But yeah. um... No, yeah, I definitely the, agree with the outburst, but the tossing of the armband yeah, yeah, no, is despicable do for yeah, me. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's not right. You can't he do that, bro. After like the ref to the whistle, or was yeah, it he blew the whistle. And the game was over. I think <laughs> he started walking off the pitch. Yeah, like his game was over before it. End- no, yeah. like not not at the whistle though. Yeah, Doesn't it was, matter if it was over. He didn't yeah, blow the whistle yet. Yeah, yeah. Can't start walking off. Yeah, <laughs> and I will he be threw his too, country's though. armband. That armband has it's your nation on your arm. No, one hundred percent, he shouldn't be doing that. But like. He's done it before. In the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's with Nani. Time, with Nani, remember? Yeah. When, he's, <laughs> he, when he has temper tantrums, he likes throwing no, things. No, but yeah. What are you, what else <laughs> you he's a grown-ass man, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but okay. then he's like, but then it's like this um, This moment hurts the people of Portugal. You're tossing the armband, my guy. Okay, like, but you guys don't realize how he is. You have to, you have to think about how he is. He's a, he's a competitor. Yeah. He loves to win. He hates losing. Okay, bro. What else? What else can he do? He's he's not gonna take off his shirt and throw his shirt. He's gonna take off his <laughs> don't, shoes. Don't, Just don't throw don't, anything, the bro. The armband is a sign of like okay, but respect. It's the, it's the easiest. It's the fastest thing to grab something oh, and just throw bro, it. I, I, don't don't think, throw I don't think the people of Portugal give a shit because of all that yeah. Portugal has done for. Uh, he's, he's all he's done, done for yeah. Portugal. Yeah. You think they're bro. mad that he threw the floor, bro? He's he's only the it, king of Portugal. He's he's legit. He's legit mad, header, bro. You know how many Portuguese people in Vaughn have that Cristiano Ronaldo Portugal jersey, bro? Okay, I get that. Yeah, they're not gonna be mad at him. I'm just saying the act. Is the pure disrespect? Yeah, I feel like bit. if Harry Kane was to throw the armband, yeah, that's disrespectful. You know how much out? Al- you know what? how like the papers would be writing about Harry Kane? Like he'd be a disgraced England <laughs> captain. Like yeah, but he doesn't have like that. 
that status Ronaldo does. No one, not many. He people never, do he that. never did. Not what, a lot of people do. He's won a so Euro. You're saying Cup. there's nothing wrong with him doing that. No, no, no. There, there no I'm saying like if, if Harry Kane was to do it, yeah, I would. I'd be like, yeah, what an idiot. But like <laughs> well, Ronaldo, it's Ronaldo, he, <laughs> Ronaldo, that's okay. He <laughs> plays okay. for no, 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 no. It's let, CR, let me explain. Man. It's CR. CR. That's just let CR, man. Let me explain. Let me explain. I'm 100 percent with Spanish because because of all he's done for Portugal. Throw the I'm allowed band. to throw an armband. I don't care. I don't it's care. Nah, it's literally just on, an armband. But the same thing. I'm sure the fans are just as pissed off as he is. Exactly. That's, yeah, that's they, another thing. They tied. The like, fans are probably more pissed the about day, than the goal if not Harry counting. Did right? do, if Harry Kane did that, then England is just a controversial country in general. Yeah. They, just start, they just write about everything. Yeah. Harry Kane like, probably Harry wouldn't Kane, have got it on net. Harry Kane used Charmin instead of Think to wipe his ass. You know what I mean? And they're going to get pissed. <laughs> what? They'll write about everything. They love They love the mail. Daily mail. But yeah, there's always a difference. There's always a difference. True. When it comes to a, one of the goats, it's, yeah. tough, it's tough to hate him. I don't know. I feel like they're more pissed off that the goal didn't count and they didn't yeah, win than they are about him about throwing, him throwing armband, that. I think they right? would be in the same boat as him. Like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. are mad. They'd probably throw the armband too. Right? So yeah. is Jota in your starting lineup for Portugal? I'd, I'd start Jota. You never think though. I don't know. I think I start Jota. Hey, scored two goals. I you... start Jota and Neto on the wings. I think might as well like see how... Because Jota is clearly like, doing... He's in form. He's going to start man. the next He's still in form, man. They play tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see how well formation so they play. Four well, uh, three three or stay with that yeah. two up top. I think if you play bang. a four three three, you need to have like two like you need to have wingers with Ronaldo. Like yeah. I don't think yeah. it makes sense to play like another striker with him. Oh man, it's like you need it helps the wingers too because a lot of the player teams of defensively they're gonna look to defend against Ronaldo and they're gonna just kind of so Jelta's gonna have yeah. all the space in the world and that's probably how he scored. His, I didn't see the highlights, but that gives more opportunities for players like Jota or Bernardo to play, play like they get they chances. get more space. Yeah, yeah, true. yeah. Who do they play tomorrow? I have a, I have a cheeky question for you. Me? Yeah. Say it. So it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Um, it's kind of regarding Italy. Oh, a they bit. play Luxembourg tomorrow. But um, okay. Would you rather? Yep. <clears throat> would you rather lose a World Cup final? So at least in the World Cup final, would you rather them lose to Brazil or Canada? Canada. What I want them to lose Brazil. <laughs> But like losing to Canada is that not like massive embarrassment? I'm ca- I'm Canadian too, so I'm okay with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I think you'd be fine with that. Mm. Give Brazil, an example. Give it a better one because okay. Would you rather win a World Cup playing for Canada or win a Euro playing for Italy? World Cup for Canada. World Cup over everything. Man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. five Champions Leagues or one World Cup. One World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> World Cup over yeah. everything. Okay. Nothing's beating a World okay, Cup. So okay, World so Cup so for Italy or World Cup for Canada? Ten titles or one Champions League. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what? No. Okay, wait. There's too many questions. So World, <laughs> World Cup math. for Italy or World Cup for Canada? No, I take it for Canada. That's what I, really? where I was raised. Yeah. Really? Jeez. Italy's okay. just my background. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm taking the World Cup for Brazil. Yeah. But I'm, taking, I'm, taking Ecuador. Ecuador. I'm taking it for Ecuador. Yeah. Bro, you guys are so, crazy. So you'd rather win <laughs> a World Cup for Ecuador than Canada? Yes. 100%. That's crazy. What about you? You'd rather win Bro, a World Cup? Bro, you can't even name like five guys in Canada. What do you mean? <laughs> I can name five guys in Canada. <laughs> I 100% would take it for Ecuador. That's and my, you for Brazil? That's in my yeah. blood. What about Poland? As, an, as a nation, though. You guys are both wearing Poland jerseys. Going yeah, because yeah, <laughs> they played this weekend. <laughs> you guys don't care about Poland. There's no Conme Bowl, bro. <laughs> no, no. Personally, I'd rather win a World Cup for Canada yeah. over Brazil or Poland. Nah, country, country, man. Nah, bro. Bro. Imagine That's... bringing a World Cup to Canada. I'm a Canadian what footballer, What do you mean bring a World Cup? <laughs> <laughs> you're on the team, bro. You ain't on the team. I'm a, I'm a Canadian footballer, though. No, you're not. I didn't say professional. Yeah, in this theoretical question, like, you would be... But that would be the same thing for Ecuador. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Would you rather win a Copa America for Ecuador? Ecuador or World Cup for Canada? World Cup for it's, Canada. It's a different. It's always World Cup. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Everything's gonna be World Cup. Always gonna be World Cup. Okay. Everything's World Cup. Would you rather? Would you rather win five Ballon d'Ors or World Cup? What? What? Five Ballon d'Ors. I don't give a shit about Ballon d'Ors. World I'm Cup. taking a World, World Cup. Cup, bro. A lot football, of people football, are taking those Ballon d'Ors. Five, five, team bro, game, bro. I take five a World Ballon Cup without though? playing rather than five Ballon d'Ors. Didn't Messi say he would? He would give away his collective over the individual, bro. Every day. Yeah, Messi said he would give away his Ballon d'Ors for World Cup. It's not bad. That's but it's that's, that's, that's understandable. Fo- that's what football is all about, man. At the end of the day, like you want to play because you want to represent your country, or, like your people, your family, yeah, your man, friends. Yeah. It's a different feeling than it's representing a the club. Different feeling, man. It's just totally different. Yeah, bro. Always World Cup till I die. Yeah. Yeah. Former uh, World <laughs> Cup winner Spain beat Georgia two one. Goals from Danny Olmo and Ferran Torres. Jordi Alba, bro. Most informed fullback bro. with Luke Shaw. He's two assists on the bro. day, bro. Yeah. It's good, man. Bro, what, what happened to him? He what wore the armband too for a bit. Yeah, he did. He uh, did for a bit. But what what happened to him? He just like it just clicked. 
I don't He's know, in form, man. bro. Coleman ball, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Coleman just. That, I'm telling you, that wing back Don. role. That wing back role is just doing. Well, yeah, Dest was balling out too for United bro, States. You see right? Bro, he's got a banger. Yeah. Bro, Coleman, Don okay. Coleman, bro. All the Coleman. players playing under oh, Don bro. Coleman. <laughs> Did you see what they said about him? What he does before, like, ma- or before matches, or, or like when they're all together and stuff? No, Sergio. Yeah, what he eats. What does he eat? Bro, they're saying that when they went to like go Pizza get pockets? food and stuff, <laughs> they, go, they go get food I and stuff. And like they all like, with they, Nutella? they all asked the chef like, "Oh, what do you want?" Like, oh, "I'll get like whatever eggs, blah 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 yeah. blah." Des went up to the ref, the the ref, the, ref. <laughs> the chef, or the chef or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say to me? And he chef said, and rest. he asked them, "Can I get a loaf of bread?" Yeah, a full loaf of bread. Carbs, bro. And then he, Carb and then up, bro. and then they're all like, "Why are you getting uh, Why are you getting uh, this loaf of bread?" And he, that's what he said. He's like, "Carbs, bro." He's gonna run for Car- ninety minutes. He's like, bro. "Carbs." You better at least toast. That's that. something he I said, do. Low he key. said, "Carbs <laughs> overload, over, overload." He's gonna run for ninety minutes. And bro. this guy scores a banger, bro. If it was a baguette, then that's understandable. Yeah, he got, yeah. He got a baguette. You're a big baguette guy. Yeah, bro. Baguette, no butter, croissants. Did he put yeah. butter on it? No, he just. They said that he ate it like just like that. It was an interview. Bro, with that's of, just like me. That's great. It was an interview. Has a loaf of Wonder Bread. It was an interview with like one of his uh, U.S. Uh, players or whatever, uh-huh. and he was saying like how yeah when they, when they were at the hotel or blah blah, blah he just ate bread just, just like that. on baguettes. And he, and they and it's so funny because they said that he has the accent right because he he was born in Netherlands, Netherlands yeah. or whatever, so he has that accent. So he does not really like American. Yeah. So when they hear him talking and stuff, it's so weird. Yeah. I still consider him Dutch, bro. He's, he like, looks. He kind of like I don't know what it is, but like he looks like he's a he European, looks, right? Yeah, he looks kind of does. Yeah, you're right. He's American for me. Though. But he scored a nah. banger, man. Yeah, he scored. A was nice he playing goal, left back? Because he was on the left side. Yeah, he was, right on, wing he was back. on the left side. I don't he was know. Right wing back. I saw. I saw my right wing back. For, free room. For most, he yeah, probably, he, probably, he probably just went around. Who, who are they facing again? Uh, uh, I can't remember. To be honest, shoot, some that? some they mediocre Northern team. Ireland. Yeah, Northern. Yeah, it was Northern Ireland. That's what. It was. Do you think he'd be able to play for a not Netherlands squad? Yeah, probably. who's their right back? Yeah, yeah, they don't. Bruno Martin didn't he? It's like Hattaburg. Hattaburg. He's usually injured though. Yeah, no, I think he'd probably play for Netherlands. He yeah, he, would. he probably would. Yeah. He probably just feels maybe more strongly associated with uh, United States. Yeah. Well, is, is, are both his parents from the States? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think, think one so. of them is. But he grew up playing for the youth teams of U.S. Did so. he? Yeah, so he grew up with all these guys. That's he true. just played yeah. for what, Ajax, no? Yeah. 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 Well, that American midfield that they put out, though, was terrible. The amount, of, the amount of mistakes. I don't even know who they were. I'm pretty sure they were MLS players. They didn't have McKenny or. No, they, they were using. Or Tyler Adams. Yeah, they were using two MLS players. Oh my god, the amount of mistakes they made! <laughs> they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to pass the ball around. They just they look for like the the long ball and oh shit, and then they just slip off. And <laughs> That's North American no football. Ball, reminded me of the Canada U twenty three game. They where, where yeah, they you just were long, were, and that's it. Yeah, were you playing there? Nah, I got playing, called for the first. Yeah, team. For first <laughs> the first. Team. On, this guy's not playing U twenty three, bro. You <laughs> bro, but another American player that scored, Gio Reyna. Did he score? Yeah, yeah, kind of a dookie goal. Like he took a, a shot from outside the eighteen, got a hard deflection into the back end net. But is it, wasn't he in bad form before this? Yeah. So well, well, maybe this will turn his. Uh, all all the all the Dortmund players that were in bad form or played good played good. Munier got an assist. Yeah. Which I was like, <laughs> what? maybe the team. Munier I mean, they don't got, have anyone. Munier got an assist, bro. Morgan Hazard scored a header. It was it was a weird. I think Lukaku scored. It's a weird international. Yeah. Yeah, Lukaku scored a nice international goal, man. Break. It's Lukaku. Oh, cut left, cut right, and then finish. You guys think Belgium uh, are no. going to make any noise? No. What do you guys think? Maybe a Belgium little. have uh, Belgium are third favorites. They'll make right a few now. decibels. Nah. You think? They're third favorites. Take no, yeah, Italy or seventh? Yeah, I'd, favorites. That's okay. <laughs> Is it Three okay? Euros? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's no okay. chance. You don't think Belgium? Have? I, d- I still don't understand how they're even in first place or in no world ranking. Bro, I mean, they have talented players, man. They have talented players. Their defense is terrible. You think it's they get terrible? Results, it's okay. I'm pretty sure they qualified for a Euro for the Euro without losing a game, and I think they played. They came third yeah. in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah but like, up. it's an aging team. They play like yeah, a. Up, what were they playing? Three, four, one, two. Probably, probably uh, gonna line up like that. But I don't even know who their back three is. It's like I can't. Alderweireld. I can't name their back three, but I can probably name like the rest of the team. They yeah. had Bertongen, Danayer, and Alderweireld. Oh, and Denier is not bad. Yeah, three, that's like, that's like a, a three, four, two, one. Yeah, and Vertagen got was called up too. He's old. He was captain. This guys playing. In yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they have an aging team. They, like, they have like they have like a really good. They have a really good okay. keeper. They have an aging team. Yeah. Greece won Euro four. Yeah. Sometimes you need it like happens. that veteran back. Controversial. Line, you know? yeah. Sometimes the veteran. Back it wasn't controversial wins, at all. <laughs> they just won it. No, it's controversial. What was controversial about it? They honestly did not think they were gonna go out there and win. That tournament at all? Probably not, but they did. That doesn't make it yeah. controversial. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot how the the whole like there were no blown calls or anything. They just no, won no, it. No, it, was, it was just 
they didn't think at all like they were going to win that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I would. Okay. That, was, that, was, that was like Portugal in the Euro I Cup. I put all my money on Greece. Yeah. Yeah. They thought they, 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 they were going to draw. Didn't they like, draw the whole tournament too? Portugal. Greece. Probably. Oh, Greece too. No, they no. won. Like, uh, they beat Portugal first game yeah. and in the final. I know they had a couple of like extra time wins. I think. I, I, I don't remember. I, I, know, I know that World Euro was like something like everyone was just like completely like. Everyone was probably just shocked that because Greece won. Yeah, that's probably what it was. But even their way to get to the finals was pretty crazy. Yeah. Not that it wasn't deserved at all. They obviously they they won fair and square, but you gotta love a winner like that I'm though. Sometimes you, anyone could win a tournament. Yeah, anyone. Yeah, yeah. It's just how you go anyone. into it. It's like seven mental, games. It's, yeah, or it's so. mental, right? Yeah. Honestly, so Barca in a tournament with Cayman Islands <laughs> coming yeah, out on top yeah, or what? That's, that's what I'm bro. saying, bro. Like you think we're not gonna win that game? Get out! It's of It's not here. a game, bro. It's a tournament against the Cayman <laughs> Islands. Seven games. Man, that's so freaking <laughs> friendly, bro. We destroy them. I don't know. Bro, right, three three right, team anyway. final. Barcelona's taking it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> The first season they won. I mean, they're gonna win against Americas. Exactly, man. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan came out. Big, big save. The our league was different then, though. Our players came. Our players came to play, man. The mentality was there. <laughs> our players, <laughs> but they was on the. They was on. The, they was on the bleacher. Bro. They came to play on the bench, bro. <laughs> On the ah, bleachers, rather than even the bench. I'm coming. <laughs> that's that's uh, yeah. that's crazy, but yeah. I, I want to ask you guys a quick question, yeah. though. Go ahead. Speaking of Canada um, mm-hmm. and USA, I guess mm-hmm. both of their Olympic teams lost, so none of them are going to the Olympics. Do you guys think Olympics for football is relevant? Nah. Like, is winning an Olympic gold medal in soccer football I relevant? So. Dep- Dep- name or I don't think so. Or it depends on the team. Because, like, for a lot of the times, at least for Brazil, before they won the Olympics, they'd send up, like, their B, C team, right? Yeah. And only t- only until recently, they started taking, like, a bit more seriously. But I think, like, with most teams, they don't, like, really send most up their full team, send, right? Yeah. yeah. They just send out the B team. I haven't seen, like, any teams besides maybe Brazil that send good players over. Yeah. Well, Mexico, Me- Mexico always sends, like, yeah. a really yeah, good Yeah, Mexico team. wants everything they could get. It, it yeah. depends yeah. on, for sure. Depends on the, the country, day, I guess. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a cup, right? And it's so all these, well, it's a medal, it's a medal whatever. A medal. But all these, like, these lower, not lower tier teams, but, you know, like Mexico and like the US says. Like, Mexico is probably, like, as a footballing, probably a bigger team than Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. But, yeah, this is, they have but a, they're not, they have like, a greater they're not, chance. They're not Brazil and, like, those top teams. They have so a the, greater like, chance of winning trophies like these versus, like, actual cups. Exactly. The so they're going to send their whole team to, to try to win this, right? Like, yeah. why wouldn't they? But, I mean, Canada and USA, they probably could have fielded better teams for the Olympics if they wanted to. Yes, but also because there's also qualifiers right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It did, like, kind of mix up. I don't think Mexico were already through, so they're not going to... But no, they also U- sent their U23s, right? No, U.S. were well, U.S. was playing um, friendlies. Wasn't it just friendlies against Northern Ireland? Yeah, yeah U.S. Friendlies. was actually playing friendlies. Yeah, they friendly. only played friendlies, so they could have had... Yeah, they, they could have re- had Des, they could have had Reina, All their best they could players have had are under 23. McKinney. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm much. saying. They could have fielded definitely a stronger team. But the thing team. is, that's, I don't know if how the, the, the schedule works out where they're going to have to, like, come against either going to the Olympics or even go into qualifiers. But maybe that's where qualifiers will start for them would be when the Olympics starts, no? Um, um depending how the group stages work and how the qualifying since is their finished. third round. I think they, third round starts next year. Yeah, like yeah. time. A while. Like in time. Yeah. yeah. So they could have, honestly they could have, but again, maybe they wanted just those players to get the experience with the first team. First team, yeah. But yeah, at the end of the day, you gotta think of the the project. Like why wouldn't they wanna go f- play for the first team and like, you know, face these other teams, these European Island. teams? <laughs> right? Like we all know that the the Olympics is not really known as a big like tournament. It's, it's, it's not big it's not, for soccer, right? yeah, not it's, for football. It's known for all those other those other other yeah, like, uh, sports, right? Yeah. Like sprinting, long jump, high jump, ice, all those ice stuff, skating. Right? Just to name a few. Yeah. yeah, for teams that like don't win World Cups, I think it's like a massive, yeah, like achievement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. That's, that's why where like Mexico is always there. That's why Mexico <laughs> really try to like. That's why. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You see those two Isn't it just U24 specifically? I think it's U23 specifically. U23, yeah. And you could have three overage players. Yeah. yeah. So. But it, then again, it does help with their development. So it's yeah, it's a team where you kind of start with them young and then uh, the same players will kind of grow together and then hopefully win something. Yeah, yeah it kind of gets you that winning mentality mm-hmm. as a yeah. team. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah, moving on to the Poland game. Polska Ooh. 3-0 against Andorra. Buschkanska? Robert Lewandowski, a little brace. You scored a bunch of volleys, a half volley, yeah, man. full volley. Bro, his first huh? half volley was so fluky, like, it like bounced off like his foot like a weird way, came back to him and just hit him in the net. And the second goal like a little bit, a little bit similar kind of, kind of the same it was thing. Another volley. Yeah, another volley. Yeah. But bro, Poland dominated. They had like, let me see, what was eighty five point two percent possession. Eighty five percent possession. Eighty five point two. Who did they play? Andorra. Andorra, bro. That's can the, you name that's a player? Crazy. Yeah. Andorra? <laughs> 
Can you name a player from Andorra? Anyone? No. Like Andorra had one total shot that game, not <laughs> not even on target. And then Poland had twenty six, w- and then six on target. That's yeah. the only Pandora I know is like the Pandora uh, wing flavor. It's from Andorra, 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 yeah, Andorra, yeah, there Andorra, you go. I, I really Andorra's box. Or Andorra's box. Yeah, 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 that's <laughs> only. <that. laughs> but yeah, Lewandowski uh, limped off like towards uh, the end of the game. There came off. Shoot. Now he's a uh, doubt for the game against England on Wednesday, which is that's a tough. big game. That is yeah. a big yeah, game. Yeah, Lewandowski man. is. Ducking Harry Kane, England, some yeah. would say. So what, Milik gets to start? This guy said ducking <laughs> Harry Kane, bro. Bro, uh, Milik started uh, on uh, versus Andorra. The coach managed to put the three big strikers, Piontek, Lewandowski, and Milik, in the side together. Yeah, so how did he do that, bro? It was like three a 4-1, like 2-1-2 kind of formation. Just, Who was with, playing? With wingers. Playing Who was serving? It, what, well, they, had that, they had Milik in like the cam kind of position. Yeah, yeah with, a, with a team like Poland where like they're kind of mid-tier, like you got to play all your talent. Yeah. yeah. You got to find day. a way. Yeah, that's true. Just throw three strikers in the box and just yeah. hope one of them scores. <laughs> cross, yeah. cross. Just hope one of them I scores. think Lewandowski is only behind Ronaldo and Robbie Keane and maybe one more for like most international goals for yeah. a European. He's top 10, I think. Pretty good. Like yeah. Pretty guys. Nice. He's nuts, man. Yeah. He could probably get there. Fair goals. So we still got time. How old is he now? 30 33, 34? I don't think he's no. 34. I think he's like 32, no? He's uh 32, yeah. Yeah. 32? Oh, shit. He's a little younger than I thought. He he's is. Got, he's got time to... He has time play. because now, like, you can see it from, like, so a lot... So fit, man. A like, lot of... I was going to say, like, a lot of young, uh, older players are starting to, like, really think about bro, their, like, on, longevity. He's on the Bayern juice, bro. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and his like, wife's a tennis player, too. So but like, not just him. Those like, athletic. Uh, those uh, those lo- uh, veteran players are starting to think of, like, you know, I want to play this for a lot longer. You know, yeah. they usually retire on 35-ish, 36-ish, but you see how Ronaldo's doing it. Then you see Ramos, like, going off now. And, like, Ibra. His yeah. Ibra. Ibra's back. <laughs> you and Dawson, they're all, like, thinking about their fitness. and like, LeBron James, sure. bro. They're LeBron, all following LeBron, LeBron James, James, bro. But yeah. I feel like they're the prime of players now who want to stay in their form can extend their prime from, I guess, from 28th age into, like, the 35s. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. yeah. And with technology and all that stuff, like, there's so... There's it's a lot easier ways to do so and to stay fit, to stay fit, recover. to stay injury free, to, yeah. to recover. You see teams, man, like it's it they it's not, they don't have days off. They go to they go they go to a, uh, the game. Next thing you know, the next day they're they're recovering, they're training already. Then again, another game, another day is recovery training. Like it's nonstop. Yeah, that's the life, bro. Just, it's the life, and technology just it helped. Yeah, yeah it helped me too. <laughs> Helped you with what? Yeah. Oh, just wake up for something? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, bro. But yeah, good result from Poland, 3-0. <laughs> and then uh, over to France. And why don't we go at Kazakhstan? <laughs> <laughs> 2-0 from France. Uzmane Dembele. Cheeky yeah. little goal, man. Thing is, like, with Dembele, with the, like, the way his goal went, like, you'd expect him to, like, fake a shot before sh- scoring. But, like, he actually went for the shot instead. Oh, wow, that's different. Oh, I was surprised. He faked it after he scored. Maybe <laughs> every, every, everyone's telling him to, like, relax with the, Yo, fin- chill, with the skill moves. Bro, chill, chill with the fake ball, shot. Bro. It's Coleman ball, bro. <laughs> Don Coleman, bro. Yeah, everyone's bro. balling out under He's Don the new Coleman. Eto, bro. Nah. No. Yeah. Come nah. on. <laughs> Come on, bro. Did you say the same dis- thing about Fati, bro? Don't disrespect Eto yeah, like that. Does. Fati's done now, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fati got another. He has to have another surgery, they're saying. Possibly. Because he's going to be doing... <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, why are you looking at us like that? Because I said he's done. <laughs> okay, you okay? happy about it? Why are you I, praying I, on a young I'm, man's I'm downfall? Not, I'm not. Yeah, I wish I wish <laughs> he didn't, but I'm saying... A <laughs> young king. Yeah, a young, I don't young know about black king, king bro. King. Come you on. know why, bro? Because he wants the young king to be Kiesa, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Kiesa's 22. Yeah, Kiesa's like, Kiesa's like in his prime, bro. <laughs> yeah. Ballon d'Or winner. Fati's yeah, never gonna, said that. Fati's going to do no. some shock therapy, I think, for like 15 or like 10 days. And if the results are negative... Then they're saying he's gonna have to do surgery again and completely remove the meniscus. Jeez. I saw I saw uh, something a couple of days ago saying like all those rumors were fake, saying that the why would he be getting a third in, uh, uh, third surgery if he never got a second one? Can't trust anything. You I see, saw bro. that like like a couple of days ago. No, the, the second one happened, but it wasn't reported fake, by uh, Barca. I saw I, don't, I saw it on I Instagram saying that the second one never happened. So why would there be a third one? I don't From know. Someone man. I don't know who said it. I forgot who said it, but. No, I think the second one happened. It's just that they didn't report it. So that's why. Yeah. Maybe. That's why it's kind of kind of iffy. There's a lot of media nowadays, bro. You got to be careful who, yeah. you, who you trust. Bro. Even, the, even the trusted people sometimes don't have all the information, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, plus Angolo Conte turned 30. Oh, yeah? I think he's one of the most underrated he's players only, ever. He's only 30? I yeah. thought he was like all there. 
I mean, he is. Uh, at least of this generation, he's, he's got had a bit of a resurgence. Like a lot, like maybe the last like two what, two, 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 two seasons, like Tuchel. he was kind of falling off a little bit, but now yeah. he's kind of. Wasn't he injured though? Didn't he get an injury? He's been back. injured quite often. Yeah, back now. Patrol ball. What did he say? I think it's like it's like having Conte is like having like another player on the pitch. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Well, so well. much. It's like guy's always running. Yeah, it's like Quinto. Now he kind of has some like technical do, ability man. to his game. So a little bit, yeah. Good for him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Is he starting for France in your yeah, France midfield? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah. got to be. Yeah, I think what war France playing? I think they're playing four uh, three three, four two three one, something three, like three, that. One. But uh, like this team now is like a bit of their it's like a B team, B team kind of. And Mbappe missed a penalty that game too. Yeah, yeah. it was Ndombele and uh, Pogba as the two DMs. Interesting. So yeah, I, I'd put probably Pogba and Kante, right? Pogba, Makes Kante, sense. Ndombele, Kante. Maybe. Nah. Depending, <laughs> if, depending if you're a Spurs fan or not. <laughs> Bring my Tweety back. Yeah. My Tweety. They, they need that. Another word for Well, Ray Mid that he played left in, mid, left in the left World mid, Cup. Left mid. <laughs> played in the World Cup, bro. False, false winger, bro. False winger. But I saw, was it Martial? Like, he didn't shake Mbappe's hand. Yeah, you see that? Something like that. There's like It looks like people are kind of blowing it up a little I bit. I think people are misjudging that. He came off injured, right? He did. He did. I don't think he, he came he, off for he, Mbappe. He didn't did he? dap up. Uh, yeah, Mbappe came on for Mar- he didn't, Martial. He didn't dap up Mbappe. He was mad, though. But then you saw Mbappe's face afterwards. He looked at back at him. He's like, "Yo, you good, bro?" Yeah. Did Mbappe go up for the hand? Yeah, Mbappe went. went he went for the dab. He went for. He went to dab him up, and then, bro. Then, uh, Martial was like, he didn't really do that. I don't think he. I don't, to be honest, I don't even think he saw his hand. Yeah, probably. I think like maybe I think. maybe everyone's just kind of Mar- blowing Mar- it up. They're all blowing it up. Martial man. just seems like he has like no awareness. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like he doesn't know what's going on around him, bro. He's like a, he's like a horse man, just like yeah. standing in the blinders. <laughs> you know what I don't get though. Mm. How come Laporte never gets called up? Because he can't get called up for Man City. I don't know. Is he a regular starter for Man City? Right, even when he was. Is he, is he mean, better than the had, center backs they, they have? They and Umtiti. Umtiti yeah, but not even a call up though? I'm not saying starting. I don't know. Maybe Deschamps doesn't like him. Bro, they have so Seems many like center backs, man. Yeah, yeah, they got they they so well. many. You see, they maybe, asked. Maybe it's an attitude thing. I don't they know. asked Deshaun's about Benzema again. Yeah, what did he say? Did he respond? He's like, "Oh my God, we're doing this here too." <laughs> Poor guy, bro. <laughs> bro obviously, Leave me bro. alone. Come on, man. You don't think they're gonna ask about Benzema? This guy's going. This guy's balling, bro. Balling yeah. for for Madrid, yeah. and you're not calling him up. They don't need to, bro. They, they have Giroud. <laughs> they have Kylian and Mbappe. I got bro. a question though. Speaking of Benzema, who do you guys think had the better overall career, Benzema or Aguero? Oh no, Benzema easy five hey, hey, UCLs Benzema, hey. or four UCLs. More, four I'm, thinking, I'm thinking more individual work. Just I guess more individual stats regarding. Don't worry more about trophies, but goals. Like goals. What do you think? I still take Benzema. I think. Uh, I mean, contribution, like, contribution. Does, does still, Aguero have like any big game moments besides that right? one? Aguero okay. against QPR, <laughs> but that's a big game moment. It is, but besides Benzema's that, okay, what okay, else? Okay, really? okay, okay, but but think about it. 2014 UCL final. What did Benzema do? Not much. 2016 UCL final. He what did, did he do? 2017 work. UCL final. What he did, did, he did the dirty work. The what dirty do? work. He did oh, the dirty work. 2018 UCL final, yes. He did the dirty work but in the season for besides CR. That, yeah. It's hard to do something when you have Bale and Ronaldo. You could always oh. find a way. He's yeah. just, he's just, he was he, just in the shadows. He was, in the yeah. shadows. But he was still putting in work. But he was still doing the numbers. The rest they could have played anyone else. They could have bought someone for him, but they they decided to keep him. Aguero was the focal point of City's attack. Yeah. Focal I take Benzema point. any day. Personally, I hate Kun Aguero. So what? This guy hates everyone. Why? <laughs> because, what do you do to you? Because because Me- he's coming to Barca. Because, no, <laughs> Messi gets all this flack for not winning Argentina a trophy. What did Aguero ever do Bro, for Argentina? There's a lot of players. Not one thing. There's a lot of Argentina players you can say. Yeah, you can say that about Higuain, a lot of Argentina. Di Maria, okay, but Dybala. Aguero's this best striker in the Premier League. He never did so, any, but he never gets any flack for it. Aguero? Yeah. It's because I've never heard one Argentina criticism okay. about him. Okay, but the, the thing is, what what are people gonna think of and, and social media in general? Like what is the best thing to like to say is like is the is the problem for this team? Messi or 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 Aguero? Aguero. What's gonna get more popularity? What's gonna be bigger in the headlines? Yeah. Messi. Messi's the issue with Argentina. Look at Portugal. You're not gonna say oh Jota was the issue with Portugal. Jota. It's gonna be Ronaldo, right? Yeah. Like Ronaldo can't feed Jota, or you know he can't. He, he doesn't know how to play with him. It's it's, it's just it's how just media headlines. is yeah. nowadays. Yeah, Aguero is this incredible Man City legend, incredible career with Man City, but then he steps on an Argentina pitch, does nothing, and gets no flack for it. I'm sorry, it's hard to say, but it's yeah. a lot of Argentinians. Look at Higuain. Oh, Higuain got a lot of flack. Yeah, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> at the end of the day, we all say it's Messi should have won the World Cup. He didn't do it, right? Yeah, you don't say Higuain should have won the World Cup, right? What was that? What was that? Oh, this guy's like I was enjoying the enjoying the live before you said that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think he's, he's a City fan. So. City fan. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> nah, sorry. but bro, Benzema <laughs> over a girl all day, man. Trophies are there, bro. Just the numbers too. I mean, I think a girl has. The better goal, like the more amount of goals than Benzema, but yeah. I but think they, they, they play they different they types of. They're goal. different. Yeah, they're different. The way they're they really play, tough, it's, tough, it's tough. But the thing is that Aguero took, I was able to take City to a, a league champion, a league title. I think that year. Yeah, yeah many know. years in general, the top level. I mean, they Aguero's also had yeah. Aguero's been able to take his that Man City team top level with just the goals and contributions. Benzema, did they win the league last year, in Madrid? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But was you would you say it was just Benzema carrying that team to the final? Him and Ramos, more just full? and the midfield, of course. It's well, against full. It was a lot to do with Benzema. It had a lot to do with Benzema, man. Yeah, like, he did a job. Benzema he did a big job. And, and Ramos, Ramos and scored again, like if, how many pens? Yeah, like fourteen. <laughs> a lot. If Benzema does the same this year, where he can like, say to carry the team, that's the thing. I don't. He see, was I don't carrying. See. He is carrying for Madrid at the moment. Yeah, he is. Who else Loki, is scoring? Loki. No one else is like no one, no one. else is scoring. Uh, Casemiro is like what second top scorer. Yeah, that just CDM. shows you, bro. They <laughs> they switch the wingers like it's nothing. Vinicius, you have uh, well, Asensio all coming the, on. All the wingers are crap, bro. But they're always switched. Like there's no starting like at the thing. Wingers you know, for you them. Got, you got a Aguero when he was in his prime, scoring three, two goals every game, every other game. But he's only been top scorer in the league once. Aguero? So was wow. Benzema. He's also been injured wow. like like how many games every every season though? Mm-hmm. He always starts the season injured. You, you find like it's I don't know, right? But you see him winning a lot of like a. Uh, uh, Premier League trophies like the um, Players of the Month or Player of the Month. I mean, Aguero has four league titles compared to Benzema's seven domestic cup titles. Yeah, I think if you three, look at three and then I think obviously Benzema will Benzema probably Benzema, UCL four individual I contribution. Know, I, I think maybe you can say a girl is maybe like a better like nine, like Let's a better goal scorer. But I think Benzema maybe is a more complete yeah, he's striker because I think he can link up the play a lot better. Like whereas a girl is just there like to kind of finish. Like let's think about it this way. Who would you want on your team? Benzema. Benzema, if you... If I you think like, it depends how you want to play. I like, think I would have Aguero, to be honest. No. If you, if you think about it, like, he kind of plays like that Firmino position for, like, Prem fans if they want to, like, think of it different. Like, he, he does all that dirty work for the team and he doesn't get, like, really noticed because Salamane, that's the same situation. But Firmino's... He, okay, I'm not going to say world class, but he's on the brink. But if, if, Salah, if Salah and Mane both left that squad, yeah. for Firmino to be able to do anything with that Liverpool team? Well, who would the know. replacements be then? I don't think so, man. If, if, it, if, it, if it's just him, be? if it's just him, know. then probably not. If, you, if the replacements like are, Benzema, literally, it's just him. are literally no Benzema, I'm not saying he's better than Benzema. Benzema is better player than Firmino. I'm just, I'm just trying to like give it from a premise yeah, yeah, yeah. stand, standpoint. But, the, but that's what I'm saying. Like end of the day, like Firmino is a good player, but it does come down to who the players he has next to him that make him are they quality. Um, are they the same age, Benzema and Aguero? Similar? I think Aguero's 33, and Benzema's probably a year, 32, maybe. So like if if My you God. put a Guero on this on this Madrid team, do you think he can no, do what Benzema is no. doing right now? He's too busy twitch players. streaming. They're different players. They're different players. <laughs> Aguero did carry though. They're different players. Aguero he carried did in carry his prime. Yeah, yeah. But, but he also Benzema has been carrying since the 2018-19 season. Yeah, so that's 2018-19. Well, like, how how many years has Aguero been carrying for? How long has Aguero been in Man City too? Like. Ten years, ten years, right? He's been there for a while. They they both been at their teams for a while. Because Benzema's yeah. been there for a while too. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And Aguero know. never shows but up in UCL either. No, but the also the other thing is Aguero's <laughs> never really had someone else that's been over him. You know, like he's never been in the shadows. You can that say so um, was pretty big. No, but at in, Ford. Uh, or yeah. Jekyll he's never was, been, was nah, a, nah, but he's he wasn't never been in the, the shadows. shadows. Yeah. No, not, I'm not saying the he was thing, in the shadows, but like he was also a top yeah, player. Yeah, but the thing he is, like, Ben's was been in the shadows, and exactly. he's come up as the main right? man as well yeah. too in his yeah, league. And you, and then after Ronaldo left, Bale left, he's still balling. Like, just, like how many players could do that? It's hard. It's not, hard not to see that. Uh, I'm saying Benzema's better. I would still take a girl. A lot of players also lose their form if they're outshadowed by players like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that Ben's was still able to stay consistent and even I guess play better now that he hasn't doesn't have anyone above him. Mm. Yeah, he contributes and, and really stand out. Yeah. Is something different, but, like, but again, it comes with age. And it comes with also like a, a girl also just yeah. quality lowering injuries. Injuries is the Benzema doesn't have that crazy amount of injuries either, so he's I guess fortunate for that. I would just take a girl because he has the pace, obviously. It's obviously pace has, whore over here. He obviously <laughs> has the pace. The same FIFA made. And, and you see, he, you know, he makes the runs and stuff, and he's a lot more smaller, so he's a little more agile. They do, they're both clinical yeah. in the box. I think it just depends how you want to play. Right? I guess yeah. Is, is, is Bro, taken since 1819, Benzema has 106 goal contributions in 131 games. Yeah. 
much. Yeah, Unreal. That's decent. No, but he's, he's a good man. You can see He's it, a man. complete forward. Yeah. Imagine if he was the main player of Real Madrid his whole career. Imagine how many goals this guy. Yeah, contributions he would probably have. Probably have a lot more, right? Yeah, and also Shit. imagine if he didn't blackmail Valbuena. <laughs> he'd have a World Cup. Yeah, he'd, he'd have be, a World Cup he, probably. Would you say he would? He he's. Would you say he's world class at the moment? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, hundred percent. But, but, but would have had a Euro Cup? He might have would, been in Portugal. Would that would Italy. that World Cup push him to like proper fan France like striker stardom? Like he's like he'd be the best. Yeah, he'd probably 100%. be up there for best. Would he pass? Him would and he pass Henri if he had that World Cup? I don't know. Uh, you never know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's I, crazy. Like Kanye said, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> yeah. Good. He, he, he messes. He, he messed could have probably like he might have that goal record that Giroud has. Uh, I Maybe. think so. I think so. Because how many years has Benzema been missing from the France? Wow. Yeah. A lot. Right? Seven now. Yeah. Right? Like seven yeah. years? Yeah. Just a about, lot. Uh, Shoot. Seven and what? Years. And what? How many? How many goals is it that Giroud has? That's like that's 50, 40, I think 40, he's like I think. seven or nine off from beating Henri's goal record. That's crazy. Bro. I think Benzema would have had it. I think already. Benzema would have it. Yeah. I think he would have had it already. Hundred percent, man. But yeah. would Benzema have hindered the emergence of Mbappe for France? No. No. He. No. He makes other different, players better. Different players. Qual- different quality players. You could see it with Giroud. Well, Mbappe came out more of as like a winger. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's what Bro, I'm saying. When he played. Taking Benzema has 27 goals for the national team. Despite missing the last seven That's years crazy. of playing. Imagine That's he scores, crazy. what, five, five, five goals a season Another for France? Five goals. Yeah. What's, ben- what's Giroud at right now? Giroud's at 44. Henri's at 51. <laughs> what? He would have surpassed that way long yeah, ago. That's it. If he scored, five, yeah. And bro, like, he has, all he has to do is score like what four against the like, Candor yeah, or something like that. Exactly. And, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Pretty crazy. A big he what if. His career a big what aspect. if, right? That is yeah. like a pretty big what if to think about, man. Like, but he's got drip. He does. Have drip, <laughs> he's got drip, bro. He's got UCLs, bro. Rants are okay though. Like, yeah, I don't think I don't think it's they more mind too his much. end. Like, yeah. what if for myself? Yeah, exactly. yeah no, they don't need uh, him. Yeah. 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 If nah. they had him, they would be that much better though. Yeah. Would they? Another yeah. thing that 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 is very true. The leagues. Look at the leagues they're playing in. Prem. Yeah, La Liga's, Liga, not a bad La Liga's league. pretty good, bro. Yeah, but, but, no, okay, <laughs> okay, but also back that you gotta think about back then as well. La Liga was probably he's, the best. He's been competing back against Messi his whole career, pretty much. Yeah, but uh, well, girl we, all we all know the prem. We all know the we all know the prem is the strongest league, and also it's true. He's injured. F- he always gets injured for is like it a the long time. League? Yeah, is it though? But Dave's a big Prem fan. Or is it the most popular? Come on, bro. Prem's the strongest league. league. Is it oh. Best league or most entertaining? Both. You think so? You wouldn't say it's the best league? How's don't it the say, best league? Don't say La Liga. Don't say La Liga. Look at the amount of winners in the Champions League and Europa League the past decade. Okay. Also, have been Spanish. Those are just overpowered but teams. Overpowered teams. You Sevilla can't say overpowered overpowered consistently. Sevilla? Sevilla? Are, you call, are you calling Bundesliga? Are you calling Bundesliga the best league? Best best league now? Because Bayern won it. That's one team. That's one that's team. One, that's, that's, one, yeah. that's one team. Well, four two teams. teams. Yeah. Sevilla. Sevilla won a lot. Sevilla yeah. wins Europa. That's, wh- that's what I was talking don't. about. European. Nah, bro. I, I, European, I only bro. look at Champions League. I don't, don't talk to me about <laughs> oh, Europa. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. No, oh, it's welcome true, to the boat. <laughs> welcome to the spoiled boat. <laughs> it's not spoiled. It's, it's facts, man. <laughs> it is. I don't care about oh. Europa League. Give him the spoiled But yeah, tag. but I, I could agree with like La Liga being a very strong league. With I wouldn't put Sevilla in there. I'd put Atletico, Real... And Barca, but those are those are three top. Even back teams then, right Atletico there. wasn't like the greatest. But the past, good, the past ten years, good, but they weren't the greatest. Past ten years, yeah, La Liga. I don't know. Atletico won the Europa League in that time back yeah. then. Again, I don't hear this stuff. <laughs> I don't. It's, a, it's, like, care to it's me. a European. So, so why'd you answer me if you don't hear it? <laughs> <laughs> but also another selective thing. hearing. <laughs> another, <laughs> another thing, Aguero is injured. He gets injured a lot yeah, and for a long times, like months. Yeah, yeah. But he still comes out and scores twenty plus goals each league each season. Does he though? I don't know, bro. Matthews, oh, Matthews might have to fact. I don't know about twenty. Plus. He did score oh, a lot, but he but scores like, a lot. He, he always scores double lot. digits. He's always up there. He's like top five. When, yeah. He could put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, yeah. No and that's a striker yeah. for at a high level. Besides, yeah. for no one's disputing that. Yeah. Besides Argentina, true. Yeah. <laughs> I want to bring up something else. So Van Bastian said that he he swears on Van Bastian. Van Bastian. <laughs> Van Bastian. <laughs> Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think Spaddy might have like some of the worst pronunciations. <laughs> Van Bastion. Nah, Dave, it's between that. these two. Yeah, it's between these two. You can't pronounce words. Bro, who's, who's the guy you can't from, pronounce words. Who's the guy from Juve, bro? Oh, I can't say his name. <laughs> Paratichini? <laughs> There's no N. There's no I N. I can't say his name. Because name. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's Parati. Bro, you can't say bro, it. Bro, you're Italian. Yeah, you cannot, can't pronounce Italian. his name, bro. Paratichini? <laughs> okay, Spaddy, okay. let's go what you're saying. Anyway, he came out saying that he swears football would be better without offside. Who's this? Offside. Marco Van Basten. Van Basten? 
Nah, bro. That that, that only like that would just if you say decline no the game. Size, look at the MLS a couple years, yeah, but twenty years ago. Yeah. That declined the game, bro. Like, yeah, but like, both teams have to live with it. Yeah. So it's not yeah, like the wrong team doesn't get both it. Both teams also have to live with offsides. So it's the same thing. Yeah. It's gonna be ten on ten. What are you gonna do? I mean, you're, you're, nine you're nine just gonna have a nine, a nine just chilling in the box. You the goal. But then the other nine gets. But it opens up the game a lot. Yeah, it does. It does because that that takes two players out on each team. Okay, but uh, the yeah, player, bro, just go watch indoor soccer if you want to see the thing is, cider, bro. Like, that's true. The other thing is though, you have to play with the offside trap. You gotta be smart and how to play with it, right? Yeah. Now that if you say there was no offsides, yeah, then it, it's, it would be it, it's a different game. Like the strikers don't really have to try to cut up, cut or like different formation. You don't need to be. You don't need to be as intelligent. You don't need to be as intelligent as a striker. Is what I'm saying. You don't need there to might be, be other yeah. ways to be intelligent with that, with that, with that, with offsides traps, like with with no you offsides. Be doing like offsides, you would just be probably just like walking with the guy the whole time. Just yeah, be there's, there's, man there's, on man. It'd be man on man. Yeah. There's no yeah, more there would be a different like yeah. tactic. There's no like uh, set pieces or anything. Like everything is just literally just I the whole game of football would be so different. I feel like it'd be awful. It'd be it'd be awful to watch one, and it'd also be it wouldn't be smart football. We also said that about VAR when it came out. I don't, I don't think no, but VAR played hand in hand with offsides, though. That's literally the same thing. Like the, VAR is not didn't change the game completely. It <laughs> kind of did no. a little bit, a it, lot, it just, it's yeah. a lot. But Come on, it just strengthened whatever was already there. You mean imagine complete, in good way, in good ways and bad ways too. Yeah, in good ways and bad ways. But again, completely getting rid of offsides is like yeah, that's. Just, I think it's yeah. kind of ridiculous. I yeah, know. I don't agree with that. But like, you would lose the whole game of cool football. Thing. You don't agree with it? No. no I the just streets want. are saying Alvaro Morata would win the Golden Boot every year. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, uh, no, if I'm there sorry. was no offsides, and Zagi would be the top goal scorer of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Another weird one was when when, when they uh, started playing uh, goal kicks when the, f- the defenders can start coming inside the box. Yeah. I was weird I like too. that rule. I like that. I like that. I, it, it, it brought up. It's like same thing with um, the basketball. How they did. They lowered the the, the rebound clock from twenty four to fourteen. Yeah. It makes the game a lot quicker. It yeah. does. So putting that putting those player players into the eighteen yard box, it just allows the game to play a lot faster. I guess. Yeah. It doesn't and have as much of an impact on the game. I think. It's no, like and having it, it also offside. helps. It also helps yeah. with just possession of the ball too. Because yeah. players get, teams get to play with the ball off the from the back, and also. Yeah. Good and bad because yeah. the pl- it also brings it's a lot taking of taking a risk. It yeah. takes a lot of pressure from the team, and there's been chances where goals have come from that situation. Because yeah, they mess up a pass. Yeah, it takes like a heavy touch or something. Because yeah. before that, well, teams never looked to pass short. It was always hoof it up to hoof a, it to, up, to a target or something. Right? Yeah, having no offsides, I think, would just be terrible to watch. Yeah, yeah. It just would watch. That'd ruin the game, bro. Just kicking it back. Yeah, and it'd be, yeah, it'd be yes. the era of the Fellaini strikers. It would be terrible. Just long ball at him. He just brings it down, and that's it. Remember those days? It would be terrible. Yeah. Any minute plus Mourinho. Man, I was watching a, a little uh, video on TikTok. Fellaini, Fellaini, comp? Fellaini comps, bro. Yeah. And how? How, like, what? How, how did you come across that? I don't know how. I just came across Fellaini going off, bro. And I saw these videos, bro. He was going off, bro. Oh, yeah. For for, uh, for bro, f- compilations could make anyone look good. Oh, can yeah. make this no, guy look good, bro. No, but his goals, <laughs> like la- they're always last minute goals, and they're always headers or him in the box getting a little touch in and Jeez. scoring. Like what a player! Huh? What a player he Wait, was, he's man. In China Where is he playing now? China, China, China yeah. <laughs> what a how buy fortune or something, something like that. <laughs> fortune that's be. crazy bro. yeah who knows anyway you guys got anything else or what um, what are we saying not necessarily moral games I know there's a couple games again oh. it's so tough with qualifiers because they're not such surprising yeah. games there'll be one game in every group stage that can be a good game it'll be like the first contender and the second contender yeah, of the yeah. groups the rest of the rest of the three second, of the teams yeah. are not that great. And then sometimes, like in the end, if like there's two teams that like need to win to make it through, like like a second versus third or something yeah. like that, sometimes so even, it could be even with even with the f- group A, that Serbia, Portugal are the best teams. Serbia's in f- Serbia's in first right now, I think. Yeah, with a goal differential. Yeah. Portugal's in second. Group B is Sweden, Spain. They're always going to compete. Greece, but Greece maybe. is there too, so yeah. maybe, but. Hey, Sweden's in first right now with two wins. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's, yeah, it's Sweden. Like, it's Sweden. like there's two, sometimes maybe a third competitive teams, and then t- two teams that Who's really balling are at Sweden. Compete. Two right now. teams that hey, if bro. you don't Alexander yeah. Isak, Isak, bro, Isaac, yeah. he's a nice bro. Why did Dortmund let him go? He wasn't that good. He <laughs> <the Dortmund>. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ibra got two assists in two games. He did. He did. Thirty nine years old. He said that he uh, he has nothing else to prove. He's done everything in his life, even though he hasn't won UCL or uh, that's crazy. Anything else? God. He won a uh, Europa League, a Liga. Yeah. Did he no international. Oh yeah, it's trophies. tough with like yeah with yeah. Sweden. Yeah, yeah it's ahead. gonna be the same it's thing with be. Holland. I think by the end of it, he's not gonna win anything but internationally. Man, you never know, man. Norway's starting to get some 
No, oh, probably, I want to say that. They, they didn't do anything. Holland has zero goals in five games with Norway. That's crazy. Service. You need service. Look at Dorman. He's as getting a, fat. He has no service, bro. He has no service. He has, no, he's he's not, he has Martin Odegaard. You're, you're, he has no Emery. Bro. You're, you're comparing Odegaard to Emery Chan, bro? Are you kidding <laughs> me, Emery Chan, man. You've had a good he's couple Sancho, games. Bro. Bro. Emery, Emery Chan, this season, he's played left back. Emery he's Chan played sucks. right back. Bro, he's better than any midfielder on Juventus. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I still hate Chan. And he's probably better than most of the center backs on Juventus, too. No. Probably. <laughs> he's better than Bonucci at this point <laughs> in his career. He's better than uh, Demirel. Emery Chan's playing like that third center back role. He's played right back. He's played left back. He's played center back in a three back, center back in a two back, or four back. He's played defensive man. He's played box to box. He's played like six different positions. Yeah, he's year. versatile. He's a brick. It's crazy, man. He's, he's a really talented player. What about uh, Emery Chan's roots? Turkey have been balling. They have. Yeah, they, are they beat Netherlands. Yeah. yeah. Proper yeah. ballers on that side. For Yilmaz is scoring for them still. Yeah. Yilmaz. Bro, Yilmaz is going off. He scored man. a hat trick, no? He hat scored yeah. a free kick. Turkey yeah, free kick. Yeah, bro. Bang of a free kick too. So even like even that group, that's group G. Turkey's in first, Montenegro's in second, and then yeah, Netherlands with three points. Jovetic has been scoring some goals. Jovetic. Remember, remember Jovetic from yeah. Holy Fiorentina. City he legend. Monaco. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, he does. But yeah, Turkey man, they're just one of those teams. Like they have like a solid like back line, like a solid like like back line, and then they just have like just like ballers, like just like some gifted, like technically gifted players, like all over the pitch. Mm-hmm. Like, they had Yazici on one wing, I think. Then they had Yilmaz up top. They have this guy, Hakan. Uh, Hakan. They have this guy. Oh, yeah. I think his name is like Kok. Is Kot- not Kot- Turkish? Kok. Yes, he is, bro. Is he? Is Turkish. Turkish. That's Yazikis. crazy, bro. Ballers. Guy, yeah. Then they have this guy Kok Kokju or something like that. Like to- two fan or something like that. He scored a banger. They have Genkis under as well. Thing. They have a lot of like some midfielders. There's some too. good players, man. Then at the back they have uh, what's his name? Soyuncu. Soyuncu, and they had this guy Ihan. Ihan. Kabak yeah. didn't play. Demirel, they have Demirel too. Demirel, yeah, I don't know if he's playing though. No, but they have some good. They, they, have, like some some they have some young, uh, some young talent, man. Yeah. yeah. Group C is Italy and Switzerland. They don't really have a third contender. Yeah, it'll probably just be those two. They yeah. don't have a third contender. Group D is France in first, Finland in second. They have Ukraine and Finland. Bosnia. Yeah. Finland. Timo huh? Puki. Is it? Could be. <laughs> so even for the second spot, you can see Finland, Ukraine, or Bosnia even go there. Maybe. Bosnia, I don't know if you can... Does yeah, Dzeko right. still play for Bosnia? I think he's injured. Isn't a thing on Bosnia? Can it? Vizca. Oh, Vizca, Vizca? Vizca from yeah. uh, the Turkish League? Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Uh, uh, you group, know a lot about him? Group E, Czech Republic, <laughs> in fourth. Uh, sorry, first with four points. Belgium in second with four points. Sorry, so Suchek th- scored a hat trick. He scored a hat He's been on fire this Suchek. season, bro. Uh, he's, nah. a, he's technically a midfielder, CDM. He's yeah. a CDM. Defensive he's midfielder. a defensive midfielder. He's a in CDM. the league, he's doing bits. And I guess now in the national, he's doing bits too. I think he won uh, Czech Football of the Year. Yeah, really? oh, yeah. Well, okay. Him and the, the guy, the right back from West Ham won. Gabriel Salasi? Kufal. Oh, the guy Kufal? from. Uh, Kufal? He, oh, he yes. won sec. He was uh, second place. But <laughs> well, Did he get signed this season? Yeah. He came from Slavia. They both came from Slavia. What a freaking underrated player, and what a Suchek. Pr- no, he's gonna go to a bigger team, probably. Crazy we'll signing. He's, he's, he's a pretty good player, man. Who, Suchek? Yeah. He's I a really good player. I don't remember seeing him go though. I can United. only, I can only see him. I can no. see him. At, I can see I can him see at him United. United. I can I only see him in, see him in the Premier League because, like, he he's he, a big. He kind of plays that, that Premier League football. Yeah, <laughs> he's gritty. He's good in the air. He's proven now. Premier League proven, which they love. Proven, right? Spurs. I can see him at Spurs. That's a team I can see. Something like that, right? Spurs, yeah. Like a, like him and Hoiberg in the mid. Yeah, Hoiberg. <laughs> Mourinho would love that. That's great. Mourinho would love that. No Indombele in there, bro. No, no, he, he, no could use, he could use he could use as his new Fellaini as well. Jeez. Yeah, yeah that that know, that's a Mourinho player right there, Suchek. <laughs> if I've ever seen one. Belgium yeah. in second, in that group as well. I think Belgium will probably top it. Yeah, because the, the other teams are Belarus, Wales, and Estonia. Yeah, I mean, Wales. Are, Wales, Wales are dookie, Wales have lost the first uh, or one, like, one game. Wakes up. It's, mm. I still won't do anything. Bro. Yeah, I know. And they got Duke S. Ramsey. Yeah. Uh, group F, Denmark, Austria. Those are probably the top two. Yeah, that's not bad. Scotland is probably their third team kind of to play up against. But I think Scotland lost to... Name the rest of the teams in that group. I think Scotland lost like a team they probably shouldn't have lost. It's to. weird. Some of these groups have s- five teams. Some of these groups have six teams. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how they how they do this. But So the, this team has six. This group has six teams. It's Denmark, uh, Austria, Scotland, Faroe Islands, uh, Israel, and Moldova. Interesting. I don't group. know. Dookie. Group G is Turkey, Montenegro, Netherlands. If Netherlands do not go to another World Cup, no, do you def- think they have the squad to do it? Yeah, 100%. Bro, they're ranked like top 10 right now, no? Yeah. I saw Ranking s- doesn't matter. I don't know. Yeah, I know, but like that means like 
they should have a good enough. Team they to will hundred percent. So. I saw a stat of De Jong on Instagram saying he's playing like world class at the moment. I think he has like ninety five percent possession, uh, passing com- uh, accuracy, accuracy? Yeah. at the moment, and and the role he's playing right now is crazy because he's playing CDM center back. Yeah, but he real. still has that accuracy and. And I, th- I saw another stat. I forgot what the percentage was, but... It's big stack guy. Weird. His percentage oh, of... of, of uh, stack, stack guy's man in <laughs> No, his, his, his percentage of, of uh, plays that go into score... What, are, what do you say again? I don't know. Balls, <laughs> balls into the final dude. third no, or something? Like key, balls, point, key point passes. Key, or key, key passes, passes or balls to the final third. Like, he's yeah. got a very, very high, high percentage, percentage in that. Yeah. In him playing as a center back CDM role. Yeah. That just yeah. shows you. Like, it's but again, I feel like those positions... That's why you're there. Those positions definitely benefit... Those key passes, because putting one ball through, yeah, you're catches, there to play catches, that key pass. Catches like the yeah. defenders and the opposing defenders and like their midfields off because now that when the ball's played back there, no one's really defending too deep. No one's really pressing you. No sometimes. one's defending or yeah. defending too deep. But once the ball's now passes a cam, then you have a guy behind the, you, the guy inside you, then guy you have the defenders you. dropping yeah. back. Yeah. You have no space. So, but that's when you see goals assist from like defenders or CDMs. Like those balls just go through. Yeah. And players quick and the vision that he strikers. has, the vision, pace the passes them, yeah. that he can make, man. Quick, I th- fast strikers go get I those think, balls. I think ho- Holland have a good chance to making it in. No, I, they I should. They so. should. If they don't, that's sad. Yeah. And and they have Norway in that group too. Norway, yeah, take, Norway ain't so gonna make it. Norway have three points though. They're tied right now with Netherlands. Yeah. They're I don't think they're, they're, they're not. Good. Good. They're, they're, they only. Have, they have like. I really hope they do. They didn't qualify for the Euro. Yeah, they. Yeah, they're they're not a good team. Their their team all around just isn't strong. And in, in, in general, like defensive midfield wise, it's not. It's, the it's really only Odegaard and Holland. That's it. Yeah, okay. and and they they and don't Haug. get service. So what's the point of them? They're, they're not doing yeah. anything. It's this, hard, man. This tough. group is pretty cr- interesting. Group H has Russia, Slovenia, Croatia, Slovakia, Cyprus, and Malta. Yeah. So Russia, so Slova- Slovenia are in first right now, and then you have Croatia and Slovakia. Yeah, I saw Slovenia. I think they, they they've been doing well with All Black. I think uh, what's his name, Modric got his most caps. Most yeah. caps, yeah, one hundred and thirty-five or something like that. He was one hundred and sixty-five. One hundred and sixty-five caps. Yeah, they were, they were yeah, clapping, man. bro. He was crying. He was crying. Yeah. He was crying. They brought him a cake. And that's stuff a lot. Like that. If it, I think if it was one season, that's a lot of caps for. That is a lot of. If you think about it, like. That's like yeah. from like how like many what, games? Seventeen, eighteen many, years old. Yeah, how many games do you play a a, a year yeah, or international? It's a, lot, right? it's a lot of caps, man. Cups help that with that though, because again, playing the World Cup all the way to the final helps with games. It's a lot of caps. You didn't think they're going to the final? Playing yeah. playing in uh, Euros is a lot of games. Imagine just playing qualifiers. You don't really play many games. Yeah, yeah. That's you qualifiers and you make it to the Euros, and if you that make a decent run. Germany has probably the easiest group. Yeah, Armenia, Armenia, Macedonia, Romania, <laughs> Iceland, Liechtenstein. Yes, yeah, so you, oh, wow. you don't. You don't really have like any like who's gonna finish second in that group. Does it matter? Ar- Ar- Romania. Yeah, Armenia. Armenia. Like I feel like a, a lot more teams would have been so North Macedonia in that group. Oh, these yeah. are these are games where Werner and Havertz have to start to find their form. Havertz is starting. Havertz is playing well. Yeah. He so started Werner, playing well for Chelsea Werner too. had his one chance to score last game, right to the goalie. National bottling. Right to yeah. the goalie. Yeah. But yo, playing, speaking playing Havertz is straight. Speaking of Wait, Germany, go ahead. Speaking of Germany, you guys see what uh reports are saying about Cruz. Oh, what, what are they yeah, saying? They're saying he wants to retire after this uh, Euro. After the Euro, he's hanging and then the focus Cup. on Real Madrid after. Bro, they also I, I saw another report that I don't know if this is real or not, but basically Tony Cruz, like apparently this guy's like calling the shots. Yeah, I yeah, saw this guy. I saw apparently that. like after, SS Cruz after, yeah. after the World Cup, he's like, you know, we need you know we need some fresh faces, you know, get rid of the old players. Stop. So that's why Mueller and Hummels and players like that didn't get Stop. called. Yeah. Up. And then now he's like, now you know he what? I, I think we need some experience. You know, Hummels yeah. and Mueller have been playing really well. I think we need them back on the team. I hate so that apparently guy. this would, guy is just calling the shots, bro. Would you come back after like having like such a like a like horrible experience with that? Like knowing that your team doesn't want you and now they want you back would you go well, back I, mean, I think they were well i mean if you th- if you look at what they did without them what do they do get knocked out in the mm-hmm. yeah i go in back the group stage Moore, group stage well and hummels they both walk into but the would team you would easily. you go back though knowing i'd that, go back you know they didn't they didn't yeah, want you you have you another chance of winning another you have a chance huge of winning trophy. a euro cup yeah. Yeah. Day, it still proves that you're still a quality player and that the only reason that your team can all do so well is with you is the reason to go back yeah. you love to see those moments though like when like players like don't get the chance and then the, the team that didn't give them the chance that's bad and then they go back and they start balling off. Yeah, that was that right. was like a really, really thing yeah. is apparently Cruz considered retiring in twenty eighteen, but his family convinced him to yeah, keep playing. Too. Whoa, now he's considering guy. to retire now after twenty twenty one. Just play, man. Does he um, this guy think he is? Does he start football, does, he, does he even start in Germany's midfield? Yeah, Tony Cruz? Yeah. Does he start yes. in Germany's midfield? Who is Germany's midfield? I don't think he Kimmich, Goreska, did. Cruz. Cruz? I that's think that's it. Gundigan. No, you forget. Gundogan scored over. You forget the, 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 the you forget that Gundogan plays football. I don't, <laughs> I don't care. Gundogan could be in the best form around taking Tony Cruz. Gundogan could win the Ballon d'Or this year. 
Gundogan could win the ball in the arm and still take Tony Cruz nine midfield. Gee. Wow. Is Gundogan William world class? Yeah. Right now. He's elite. Yeah. Right, right now, right now he's he's in world class. Like he's in world class. Yeah. I want to see him in Champions League. Yeah, so Germ- if he could do it. Germany's mid against it, Romania was Gundogan, Kimmich, and Goretzka. Yeah. Cruz, That's a good Cruz is injured, though. I think yeah. Cruz. Can you, would, Cruz would you be able to play uh, Gundogan more forward? False nine? False nine-ish or, or, playing, or a 10? Gundogan is playing more of the Mueller he's, role. He's playing in the same the same role he's playing at City. He's a center midfielder, but he's a, like he plays advanced. advanced <laughs> midfielder. I think you can see maybe you can maybe see Kimmich go to right back, and then Cruz can maybe go into the midfield. They had Klosterman playing at right yeah, back. They yeah, won't send them back to right back. Nah, there's so nah, much yeah. talent. Too good. <laughs> talent yeah. wasted, I would say. But it's like, and how do you how do you fit all those players in, in the same team? Nah, that's the thing. Right? That's the that's I what happened. You drop Gundogan. Spoiled you man. You, you stop Spoiled. telling. You, you, drop you tell Tony Cruz you're being too mean to our yeah. players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're stop mean. it. You tell know, Tony Cruz, in buddy, you're not the right captain. Now, I don't know if you can drop Gundogan. Are they all in good form? Yeah, not not really. But Gundogan, I think, is in the best form out of all of them, bro. Out of all the Germany players, unless he's Turkish too. Yeah, and they love the Turks, bro. Yeah, I I'm playing Tony Cruz in that team. Um, I forgot to speak of the group before them. England, Poland, Hungary are the top teams in that mm-hmm. group. Yeah. England probably, Poland. Is, is, you think Poland's going to be able to go in there? Maybe, yeah. but I'm a really big fan of this England side. I thought you were going to say of this Hungary side. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I love this England side, bro. You you just love English football. <laughs> nah, Don't man. You? These players just okay. coming up now, I, young, exciting. I just exciting. think to see England win a World Cup. <laughs> yeah, it no, would be I don't want to see England win a World Cup. No. Why not? Bro, Twitter would no, be way no, too crazy. No, no, no. Bill Morgan, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Is nah. he German? Yeah, but I'm, I, I, <laughs> he's I'm quoting, quoting, no quoting him. You can definitely <laughs> tell that these English guys would go off, man. It's, it's, all, it's the media, bro. We're the Let's best freaking Imagine the Eagles on these guys. What was it in 20? Was it 2018? It's coming home. Yeah, it's ca- and it was this close to coming home. It was but Harry close. Kane didn't square it to Sterling. Bro. Yeah, and, and, and I'll be honest, with you, bro, taking there like would be no coronavirus if that happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's true, bro. Little things change everything. Yeah, it's butterfly effect. Yeah. Society, <laughs> <laughs> society would be bro, completely imagine different. Imagine Kane squared it, bro. Yeah, just imagine. <laughs> they probably still wouldn't have won it, but whatever. I could have been playing for Canada right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's crazy, yeah. bro. Can't. It's not that crazy of a change, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that, bro. I don't know, bro. I, I don't think you can win it, bro. They can't win it with Harry Kane as their striker. The thing bro. is, you can't be a serious why? club with Harry Kane something as your striker. Been, something that's what? been making me mad. I've I've been watching a lot of like my England eleven videos on YouTube. Yes, I have different to. YouTubers. Ooh. No one's putting Sancho on their eleven. No one. Yeah, because yeah, they, they, they only that. watch the Premier League. Like, Makes sense. Yeah, we only watch the Premier League. They're putting like Graylish and like Sato. But, like, some, yeah. Foden. Some Foden. Foden. Yeah, obviously, like, yeah, Foden. Like, I'd try to get him in the team somehow. But, like, some YouTubers aren't even mentioning Sancho. Yeah, because yeah. they, they, they only watch the Premier League. No, but, San- but, but, but if, if he went though. to United in the summer, he would have been yeah, the, star, the star player and all that. Yeah. Like Golden no, boy. Said. Bro, I, <laughs> I, seen, I seen on AFTV, Arsenal Fan TV, they were saying Saka... Is a is a better footballer than Sancho, than, Sancho, than yeah, Foden, and then Rashford. Yeah. Bro, do you, have you watched I, AFTV? I'm just saying, bro. Yeah. These, these, <laughs> these four players, Saka is the fourth player. Yeah. Some people are calling for Saka to start. No, yeah, no, he's quality. He, he's not a. Steve. If 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 no no if England play three at the back, he's playing left mid because he can run from down yeah. down the wing. He's is he more of a right wing. But the thing is that can Sancho play the right mid role? Sancho's gonna have to, sorry. Sancho's gonna play the right wing role. I don't so think yeah. they're playing three at the back anymore. No, it's no? a four back. Probably they do like four three three now, pretty much. Yeah. With like two, that's di- like the rumor. With guess. like two like midfielders that kind of hold back, yeah. and then the wing backs kind of go up wide a little bit. Which I guess kind of makes sense. I don't know. Mount yeah, I think Rice. they have they have like like I don't know, man. Sometimes I think it's a blessing and a curse to have so many talented players because sometimes I think it makes it really hard for you to to make up your mind. Yeah, because it's like you have all these players and you're trying to think, who do I play? And then it's like, do you try like fitting all them all in and play like a different style just because you're trying to fit all these players in? Then it backfires. But I think like, if you just have like maybe if you're a team that just has like you know maybe 15 really good players and like you know who's gonna start, you know who's gonna come off the bench, like it just makes it easier to like have a style, stick to it. Because I think like, when you have all these players, like you're constantly switching. Uh, your, your I think it's a style. great situation. You're switching have. your your formation, mm-hmm. and and especially with like, um, like international football, it's like you don't have a lot of time to. Get your shit together. It's like a club where you have like 20 star players and you have training. You have like eight months to prepare, yeah. eight months to like to build chemistry. Tactics, build chemistry. It's like you're going, you have. You have to perform you have, now. You have three games in the group stage. If, yeah. if you mess one of those games up, then yeah, your over. tournament could be over. Yeah. yeah. And that player can get dropped instantly. All right. 
out of a bad performance I mean, or anything like that, like, right? So that goes to this. Would you think it's a harder job to be a international coach than it is a club coach? Nah, yeah. gotta be club what coach, it? bro. Club yeah, coach gotta be tougher, tougher harder. To, what? No, club? It, it's club coach. It's yeah, club coach is more demanding. Yeah, but like so international coach is like you don't you see your guys only a couple times a year. You got to get your squad right. Yeah. That's like, the thing. Like, but you have that tournament pressure. But then again, like international vibes hit different, bro. No, it's, it's, it's more fun. It's I'd love different. to be an international. It is coach. more pressure, man. Because again, like as soon as you go international, if you're a top team, like your game's gonna be like there. Like during the league, like, you have thirty games. You have uh, friendlies. You have like summer tournaments. Yeah, you, you have, have time to try time things to out. Yeah. You're able to change your team on the fly because you're able to pick up new players again. But obviously, international level is different. Same way because you can pick up a lot of players, but. There's only so many players that can play in your squad too. Only if you're from that country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, you can't can only just pick go buy a buy a player from France. Yeah, that's the thing, right? right? And and also like another thing, a lot of people say like, oh, international like managers, they only they only coaches during this summer time when they play like European international football. People no. don't realize that these coaches go out and watch their players. Well, they they have go to. They yeah. go scout their players during games. Yeah. What, what, what else are they going to do when they're not playing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like people say that they don't do anything else besides like work when I they're in say, international duty. I would duty. definitely say it's a harder job than being an international coach. Right. At a higher level than the top 10, top 20 world players. And now even, like, like even competitive teams in general. Yeah. Obviously, being a coach for a friend, San Marino, or whatever, you're just like picking some guys from the yeah. streets and like, you have, hey, what you, you, want play. you have what you have, and then but, if, yeah. you, if you win yeah, a game, yeah, yeah. oh, if you Agreed, don't, then it's expected. being in a top coach yeah. and, and then you have fighting so for yeah. like, like tournaments and fighting for but you can say the same thing about club coaches as well, too. But club coaches, too, let's say 10 minutes, 10, 10 games into the league, and you're not winning games, it's kind of like, okay, hopefully, we can stay top 10. Yeah. Hopefully, we don't have we don't, we're not the last three teams of the league, yeah, like you have a lot of space. You know what I mean? It's either you come first or you're coming second to the 18th. Or or a Champions League. Like, or or Champions is it top, top four? Like you finish like and it's that's yeah. a successful meanwhile, season. And meanwhile, in, in, uh, in international, you have to win every single game or not. If you lose it's, one game, it can really screw you at the end of the day. Yeah, Especially as a top, like top five international team. Like we'll say England as an example. You go, you go to, you go to like to a team like uh, Man, Man U if you're a coach. Mm-hmm. You have these players you can work with. Like you'll, you usually have a really good starting eleven. And like four or three subs that are all right, decent, but the starting eleven is usually like really, really good. In England, we could say as as a, as if you're a manager for England, you have so many top quality players that you have to choose a team around. A lot of players that play same same position same positions. Too. Look at the forwards that they have. You, you have to as a manager, you have to think about like they have like right what? Backs. How many yeah. forwards do they have that they have to think of? They have like and, right backs and, and he has forwards. To choose. And when they had that OG England team. The golden that, generation. Ma- Matt, like, they played skulls left mid because that's yeah. the only way they could put him in. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's so many quality uh, for these top five like international teams that you have to think of, and there's so much you have to like, r- like realize that. Oh, you, these players are in the moment. How will they do later on? How will they do in, during the tournaments? Like, you know, you gotta think of all these stuffs too. What put a lot of pressure? Yeah, to manage. You, you, can, you can get a lot wrong. Like if you, like if you compare, let's say, like let's say a coach that with now right now with like let's say this England team. Versus like the coach, let's say when Croatia went to the World Cup, Croatia, you had like maybe like fifteen guys that you knew were gonna play, mm-hmm. and you can put your same guys out. You can you can train with that same team. You know mm-hmm. how each player is gonna play in those different positions. But then you go to let's say a team like England, and it's like then you have let's say Sancho, you have Grealish, you have Sterling, Rashford, you have Sterling, Sterling, you have Foden, year, you have Saka. Yeah, it's like every who, year, who's playing where. Every and it's year like, you have like different players coming out. Yeah, like this year you have Grealish. Last year it was Grealish was what. No one was talking about this him. year. You have Saka. Who's Saka last year? Literally, yeah. no one knew about him. Yeah. While you know teams I mean? like Croatia, like you still you have, have the, the Modric, you still have the Mandzukic. Like you know, you still have, like consistent. After four years, yeah. it usually it's still consistent team. Yeah. For England and these top like tier teams, it's always changing. Maybe not like all top tier teams, but like, I think England especially. It's England like, I feel especially. like they're always like. Is it because the league? Like Germany as well is a big one. Germany, I think you have stuff like your same kind of core group of guys, but England, I feel like it's like almost every major tournament. It's like almost like a totally different. 11 maybe spare yeah. a few different players. Yeah. That's There's true. a lot of turnover. And I feel like a lot of that maybe is, is it, is it media? Is it like is it the league? Like, a, I don't know. Uh, I'd say a similar team to England, probably Portugal or France. Cause there's always, there's France always, too. there's always players France, coming yeah. up. Like Ruben Diaz this year turned into an absolute beast. No one talked about him last year. Yeah. Neto from uh, Wolves. Wolves. Yeah. Who talked about him last year? No one. Yeah. Who do you think has, which, which international coach has the most pressure? Has to be England, right? Yeah, uh, it's, it's always England, England. England, England because yeah. of the media, yeah, I think. and because the the Premier League in general has such a big 
viewership and yeah. I guess, you know, like we're the best. Like they were, everyone says, the Premier League is the best. You want to, you you expect there to be all these English players who are playing first team football. Yeah, to like go out and win it. The thing is, we don't see a lot of world class coaches coaching international sides as we do with club sides. What do you guys think that is? Because they, because cl- these top managers want to work. Every day. Yeah. yeah. You think so? Yeah. That's what Mourinho said, why he doesn't coach internationally. He wants to be in there every day. And Pep, he said that as well. Yeah. It's different. It's different vibes. But look at Spain, for example. They have uh, Luis Enrique. Yeah. It's a different job for him, right? And look at the teams he's been playing on now. It's kind of hard because it's the same Spanish team that everyone expects to play. Yeah. it's. I feel like this Spanish team now, like it's also a changing team. Like It's not the same. Not playing the same style of football. Rebuild phase. A the lot of only, new faces. The only, the only really core players are there are just... Ramos, Ramos, Busquets, 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 Busquets Alba, De Gea, like Alba, that's it. Like, f- attackers wise, guys. Yeah. then the rest of the team. Attackers, they're, again, Morata's good, but he's not consistent. Always a terrible form right now. Ferran Torres now. Yeah. So he's been doing decent, though. Yeah, I feel like their defense and, and defense and keeper is pretty much like maybe s- the same, but like midfield and forward for Spain has like completely changed. I completely, man. I completely. Remember those golden days, man? Yeah. I used to <laughs> love those days, man. When this, th- When they got this star. Torres, Villa, Sass, Iniesta, Xavi. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was guy. different gravy, man. That <laughs> big, was big, big bandwagon <laughs> fan. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love Spain with all my heart, man. Spain and the <laughs> big fan. That's what Ecuador, Ecuador, Ecuador with all your heart. I thought you loved Arsenal with all your heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I loved you. I loved my you heart is Arsenal. big. <laughs> make up, make up your mind. <laughs> I, got a, I got a big heart. I love everyone. I can tell. But man. that's Euros. That's the qualifiers. They have one more game, and then they're back in the football club side this weekend. Thank God. Yeah. Uh Come it's different ball. for South America. Come ball football. They didn't even play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Canceled, bro. Ecuador did. I know. But yeah. Come ball football, I feel like it's always... It's more exciting it's always to watch, a, I'll be honest. It's a big game every single game. As much as you're playing like last place with, with the 10th team, which is Bolivia. But, but like, they'll still only, go out only, there and they'll, they'll give yeah, it a there's fight. Only, yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I mean. So I know Ecuador faced Bolivia today. They, only, they won 2-1. That's a fight. But it was a friendly mean? game. Yeah, We should have killed them. But but the table right now for Come ball is Brazil, Argentina, Ecuador... Uruguay top four, Uruguay's in fifth. Again, top four teams go through, and the fifth okay. team goes to qualifiers. Come on, man. That's pretty cool. We can do it. But <sighs> the thing, like, there's Brazil, Argentina, Ecuador, Paraguay. Who, Paraguay, again, Chile. surprisingly. Uruguay, Chile, Chile Colombia. Colombia. There's so many. like Peru, who's in ninth, but Peru went to the World Cup last World Cup. Which is crazy. crazy. They kicked out Ecuador. So it's definitely the one of the most competitive qualifying groups, I can say. Yeah. I think so, yeah, yeah. Just because like you have like... Maybe like eight very competitive teams. Because, mm-hmm. man, you're just listing out some of those European groups. And it's like even the Germany group. You have like one competitive team. Yeah. And then like Second. then like eight men's league teams. Yeah. But it's like here you have like nine competitive teams and maybe like one men's league team. But yeah. again, so it's like a lot never, more competitive. Yeah. Right? Different gravy. And even incredible. if that one men's league team is like it's still like difficult playing. They're like, a gritty, they're right? like a gritty men's yeah. league team. You know, they're yeah. not going to make it easy. Like you can't go out there and like play nice football because they're just going to be yeah. in your yeah. face. You, like you can't game. play like nice football in like Bolivia because of the high exactly. altitude. Exactly. I was going to say Bolivia is a hard high team to face. Easy, hard team to face for altitude too. And again, a lot of these teams, a lot of these players who play in these South American teams don't play in South America. They play in Europe. They play yeah. in Europe or outside of the country. I guess the only ones would be like Bolivia, Peru, Peru too. A lot of Peruvian players play outside of the world, outside of uh, Peru. Yeah. Venezuela, maybe. Paraguay, maybe. But a lot of these teams don't play at home. Yeah. Yeah. In the Arge- a lot of them play in the Argentinian League. Yeah. They stay stick Brazilian around league. in South yeah. America yeah. a little bit. Maybe they go into the uh, was it the Mexican League as well sometimes. Mexican, yeah. League. Mexican League too. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. nice warm climates. Cool. But yeah. I'll we'll have to see, man. International football is... Coming to a wrap, boys. Yeah, I think so. Are we? Let me let me ask you guys a quick question to close it out. Just mm. say the team. Mm. Who's your like favorite team in Europe right now? Who's hot right now? Quality wise, or you want to see win? Just quality wise, who who you guys like right now? Who's hot? So you're, we're saying like, we're, we're saying like for the Euros, international, right? Just right now, who's looking good? One yeah, team that's not good. one team that's not my team, Spain. I like mm. how Spain were looking over the weekend. Played some good football. Pedri playing nice. Pedri, Alba, bro. Alba Pedri. in form. Torres finding his. Uh, Scoring boots for Spain. Yeah, man. Uh, I love Spain. They're playing really well. Cool. Yeah, wait, who would you take? Spain or Canada to win a World Cup if you were to play for them? <laughs> if I were to play for them? Yeah. Oh, he's going to say Spain. Oh, oh, oh my geez. God. Okay, move on. Move he, on. Said, he said crazy. Spain. He said move Spain. Move on. He's not Canadian. That's yeah. terrible. Not, I'm not, not Canadian. Canadian. He said I'm terrible. I'm Ecuadorian, bro. He said okay. Spain. Oh, okay, Dan, how about you? I'm Latino. No, no, no. Like, uh. His question. Oh, his question. My so question. What team did like Germany looks team great. <laughs> Germany looks really good against. I know they're facing a little uh, lower quality teams, but they had a lot of possession. The only thing they were lacking is that bit of finishing. That's all. 
Yeah, they, they, did, they, they weren't they really, really playing with that. They were strong defensively. A nine. Neuer again, Neuer's Neuer. Midfield work is something else. Havertz actually plays well when he comes to Germany. Yeah. I guess just the communication would be yeah. what helps. <laughs> yeah, big, big part. And then um, finally, yeah, I just I think they needed a little bit more of a finisher up there. Warner's not, not it yet. Warner's not it yet. And then you could see Gundogan doing the work for the, the squad still. So, But they're, they look good. They do. Yeah, I was going to say Germany as well, but even like another team, like a sleeper team, I know we were talking about in Turkey. Oh, that was my they team. play like, <laughs> they, they play like pretty exciting stuff, man. Like sometimes like those, just like those, those sleeper teams, they just come out and they just, you know, th- they all just have like those crazy skillful players. Yeah. And like, they're just, they're sometimes they're, they're fun to watch, man. Mm-hmm. Exciting stuff, man. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Think of another team, bro. So I got to pick a team that's not Italy, right? No, you can say Italy you can if, say you want, if you want. Because bro. they've said Spain. They are looking hot. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't said anything yet. I, I said Spain. Yeah, he said Spain. Yeah, I'd, said. I'd say Italy. They they look they look good. Yeah. Besides striker, that's about it. They just gotta that's work a big, on that. Uh, yeah. But I think problem. Canada, big problem. Team Canada. Yeah. They're not in Europe. <laughs> 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 oh, Europe or just team? That's it was, it was Europe. Europe. Oh, Italy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was Europe. Um, I love the three lions one. Oh, oh my God. come on, that's it's so coming. And home. You know who leads the strike force? Addy Kane. People that's people talk about interchanging. You know the wingers, but. King Never came. Number one. Because he's captain. And, and, that, he, and that's why they're not going to win anything. He ain't moving. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they're not going to win anything. Ollie oh. Tompkins, man. He scored a goal in his Ollie debut. Ollie Tompkins. 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 <laughs> this guy's thinking Ollie. of something else, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Ollie Watkins, sorry. <laughs> I say Tompkins. <laughs> All right, wrap it. Wrap it. Wrap it. Yeah, that's Canadian. Wrap it. All right, oh, my God. God. Close it off for us. Canadian Holy. football. <laughs> Thanks. Everybody for tuning in. Um, smash the like button. I'm all wet. <laughs> smash that subscribe button. And he's wet. Whoa. Whoa. That's what he said. Hey, That's what he said. That's what he said. But yeah. What's happening on the couch? <laughs> oh, hey, yo. Follow hey. at the footy culture on all platforms. Do it. Yes, sir. Yeah, you better. TikTok, Whoa. Instagram, YouTube. Yeah, international way. break, my favorite time of the year. Can't wait for the Euros. It's and the most yeah, wonderful the time culture, of oh, the year. year. Bye, guys. Later. Deuces. <laughs>